All rise. The Honorable Judge Douglas Red presiding. Sit down, sit down. Let's get through these quickly. I got a hemorrhoid riding my ass like a Mississippi mule. First case. Case number 88-FAO. The People vs. Susan Lawrence. Ad executive for the McMillan Toy Company. What are the charges? One count statutory rape of a 13-year-old boy. My goodness. That's a way to start the morning. Mr. Wexler, I suppose you don't mind a little statutory with your coffee. I prefer cream, Your Honor. I don't care. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty by way of sorcery. Sorcery? Yes, Your Honor. The 12-year-old boy, a Josh Baskin, was made up to look like or transported into the body of a man in his 30s through the magic of a mystical fortune-telling machine. Miss Lawrence attests she couldn't have known Mr. Baskin's age because of his appearance. Did Mr. Baskin, while looking like a grown man, display a manner of childlike wonder? Your Honor? Was Mr. Baskin uncharacteristically youthful despite his appearance? And was Miss Lawrence attracted to him because of that? Well, that that's uh, hard to say, Your Honor. I'd work on that defense, counselor. Trial date set for March 5th. Hey, Miss Lawrence, schools are closed that day. Try not to accidentally bump uglies with any more kids till then. Next case. Case number 333-L, People vs. Lewis Skull, Nick, co-chair of the Lambda 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 fraternity. A white college boy. Let me guess, Mr. Wexler. Rape? That's right, Your Honor. While his tri brothers were installing cameras inside the Pi Delta Pi sorority house in order to take pictures of new co-eds without their consent, Mr. Skolnick allegedly dressed up in a Darth Vader mask, pretended to be the victim's boyfriend, and had sex with her. A Darth Vader mask? That is the nerdiest case of rape I've ever heard. Funny you say that, Your Honor. The entire attack on the Pi Delta Pi sorority was propagated by a need for the more studious members of the university to achieve a manner of vengeance on their jock classmates. A revenge of the nerds, if you will. I will not. How does the defendant plead? <laughs> I'll take that as guilty. Trial date set for November 5th. Next case. Case number 1984. The People vs. Diana Prince, heir to the throne of Themyscira. We are graced with royalty. Welcome to America, Miss Prince. This is my little kingdom right here. What are the charges? Kidnapping, sexual assault, breaking and entering, and grand theft. Quite a resume, Mr. Wexler. What'd she steal? Along with clothes, personal items, and an antique fighter jet, Miss Prince and her dead boyfriend supposedly stole the victim's body. Not only was the victim a Mr. Man, Forced into several violent altercations, one at the White House, he was also helpless as Miss Prince had her way with him sexually, three and a half times. And a half? There was some S and M thing with a lasso used for sexual gratification, Your Honor. Gotta write that one down. How does the defendant plead, Counselor? Not guilty by way of diplomatic immunity. Should have seen that one coming. Trial date set for December 25th here and on HBO Max. Let the court of public opinion decide. This court is adjourned. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They can still talk on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, but for some reason LinkedIn won't have anything to do with us. I'm your announcer Julie. And sexual satisfaction through cannibalism is only the fifth creepiest thing I would think Army Hammer would be into. If I was next in line to the Arm and Hammer fortune, like him, I'd have a resume of deviancy, longer than Army's filmography. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast, uh, February edition. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two guys who are the reason why February is only 28 days because they stole the other three. Justin Polizzi, Matthew Stewart. How you guys doing? 
See, that's We're not doing fair. great. That's not fair because sometimes yeah. there's only two days we steal in February. Oh, uh, well, the maximum is a leap year. No, you know, well, hold you know, on. Stuff. I the need, calculations, I don't the, even know. What's the maximum amount of days that February allows? 29, I think, is the maximum. It's always 29. So you're, you're, it's all, no, no, no. It's always 28. It's always 20, but then sometimes it's 29. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so why do you say we're stealing more than one day? Because you're a bunch of fucking thieves. That's what oh, I must <laughs> say. At least we can be happy this is the last podcast ever recorded in a dark period of this country's history. Well, I don't know. And we that's 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 back. Good, that's not good ahead not of yet. Ourselves. Don't count your chickens. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't count my chickens. Don't, don't, count, chickens. don't count the chickens because they're coming home to roost. We're, we're merely there, okay? Um, and now we could go back to fucking normal. We can go back podcast. to fucking. Good old boring government. That's what yeah. we want. We want yes. boring, old we, boring government. We want older white man government. Yes. <laughs> and then maybe one day we'll get a, a woman of color. In there. Hey, man, this is Jamaican in the White House. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm happy. Fucking, he's Joe Biden, what a Jamaican. <laughs> you know, growing up in the house with, have a, a, Jama- bobsled with a Jamaican mother. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I, I was waiting for the pops. I knew what of you fuckers were doing. So what is, is, John <laughs> Can- is, is, is Joe Biden the John Candy in this he, Joe Biden is John Candy. Kamala Harris is, is Malik, Dougie Malik Yoba. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Why did you go, Malik Yoba? I, well, Why you Malik go, Yoba? You want me to go fat? Wasn't that Fat Fire Freddy? What's his name? Oh. Dub, Dougie Doug, baby. Doug, Dougie Doug. That's his Dougie name, Dougie Doug. Fresh. <laughs> you dead, man. Yeah, you're man. Dead, you're dead. Dead, man. <laughs> yeah, Dougie Doug, Malik Yoba. Uh, the guy, else? the guy that kind of looks like Sanka. Ricky. Sanka was the, the, you know, <laughs> the guy that yeah, looks yeah. like Ricky from Boys in the Hood, but he's not Ricky from Boys. Yeah, in the Hood. Sanka. Wasn't that Sanka? I can't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> what was that? What do we know so much about fucking? I know a ton know. about black cinema. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big hun. <laughs> a lot of people prescribe to like French New Wave and all this other stuff. Yes. I'm urban cinema, Matt. Yeah. I, I believe Matthew that. knows urban cinema the mo- like most people know. Fellini. I know more about it than you do. <laughs> Yeah, and you you are urban cinema. I am urban. I don't even fucking. <laughs> I have to ask him, hey, Matt, what was the name of that black movie? He'll tell me everything. Uh, rhyme and verse oh, yeah. of everything. New Jersey Drive. It's fine. <laughs> We're at a point now where Matt's going to actually teach a fucking class. In yeah, the, yeah, he's going to be college. Matt's going to be the he's going to be the it's guy walking of... into the black studies class with the cheeky. All right, kids, yep. have a seat. I've got to teach you guys about New Jersey Drive. <laughs> I would love to teach people on New, New Jersey Drive. That and Fresh, it would be Fresh. 1994, there was a movie called Minister oh. Society that we're going to get into oh. today. <laughs> Is that 94 or 93? That was a huge I, I literally guessed it, the uh, date. I have no idea when that came out. I feel like I was uh, junior high. I feel like maybe from maybe like a little freshman like high Ninety one to like ninety six were like the golden age of the like golden age of urban of turmoil cinema. movies. <laughs> urban that is. Turmoil. <laughs> urban turmoil. This is the class. We're in the this middle the of class. the Matthew Stewart urban turmoil sitting, black and, studies. And ironically class. enough, I'm sitting in front of nothing but white people teaching this class at the same time because <laughs> you know there's more, only only, I mean, only white fit people. in. <laughs> Only white people take like, African American yeah. history. Karen's and Rogers yeah. are going to only, only white people yeah. would teach um, uh, African American yeah. history and, and only, similar to white people. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the, that's the thing. We it's because well, black people are like, look, man, we fucking lived it. I guess you people just want to. <laughs> we ran it. We're like, in it. We know yeah, it. We, yeah, <laughs> we, we got like, it. <laughs> yeah, you're te- you're learning about us. <laughs> well, you could have diversity. You know, you, where's your white studies class? <laughs> well, See my my, my, class my knowledge class. is <laughs> my ner- my knowledge it's called of magnet time school. Here everyone is um, blank man to about media. Oh, geez, oh yeah, son was, of a. There is one, one scene in blank, blank man. man that is the greatest scene maybe of all time. With I don't George know if Matthew Cassandra. or you or Justin will remember it. It has to do with George Jason Cassandra. Alexander. <laughs> oh yeah, is it when he's beating his legs? <laughs> and he goes, guy. I don't know if you have noticed. I'm, I'm, I'm paralyzed. I'm crippled. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. <laughs> I think we've we've had this conversation before because I, I love Justin, that scene. Justin is I, I pro hate blank that movie, man. but I love that scene. I'm love pro blank. I'm pro meteor man. He's pro blank man. <sighs> I'm a no. Like I'm a big one. I'm a big pro meteor man as well. You I like your that, you like that, your Robert Townsend, huh? Oh, like Robert your, Townsend yeah. really killed it in that one. <laughs> Good. He brought all the great the great ones out. Everybody is Robert Townsend dead? Is Robert Townsend alive or dead? No, Robert he's alive. alive. A lot, no, there's a lot of dead people. There's no eyes on. Well, Luther Vandross is in that movie. He's dead. Bill Cosby's whole career and life is pretty much over. Dead. Yeah. Tiny Lister, is he in there? <laughs> Tiny Lister, he was a part of the Golden Golden Boys, Golden Men, Golden Guys, because Don Cheadle's in that too, and he's like one of the. Uh, <laughs> Why do you guys know so much about this movie? 
I don't know anything about yeah. the Golden Man. White people know more about black culture than black Jesus culture Christ. If you put a gun to my head and say, tell me what is the name of the gang <laughs> the in the region, I'd be like, pull the trigger, bro. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Robert, Robert Guillaume was in that. He was uh, Robert Guillaume Robert... Benson was in that bitch. Mm-hmm. Benson was in that. And you had uh, fucking, man, oh, uh, Eddie Griffin was like his friend who yep. tried to wear the Meteor Man suit or yep. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Meteor Wonder Man man is, God, I would say, a classic. Uh, don't you dare. Don't you fucking I, I, dare. I enjoy I that movie a lot. You. I double dog dare you. <laughs> I triple dog dare you with a quadruple dare, dare you. Instead of... It's still better than half the shit that comes out. I just <laughs> saw yeah, Wonder Woman, by the way. That, that is oh, there yeah, will be a review yeah. coming out very soon. Ooh. <laughs> Meteor Man. <laughs> no, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Uh, Meteor Man, <laughs> Meteor man not... is a movie that is Far better than Wonder yeah. Woman. Well, I don't before. think Meteor Man raped anybody, so I think he's okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, feel like he he almost got raped. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> By the Golden Boys. The Golden Boys. Stop Golden the names. Golden Lords. That was the name of them. Golden Lords. The Golden Lords. You know, they all have gold. They all had golden, like gold flat top. We They're had right. two black superhero movies before Blade: Meteor Man and Blank Man. Look at how and shitty. Steel. Oh fucking steel! Was it Judd Nelson the bad guy in that movie? Steel. <laughs> Wasn't it Judd... I don't and another person movie. in the wheelchair. I don't remember, if I remember correctly. Wasn't the girl in the wheelchair? Oh fuck! Like I, I guess remember. See, I don't like remember girl. that at all. The only thing I remember in Steel is when uh, like somebody's breaking into his house and his mom comes out of the room, and starts beating somebody with a newspaper or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's like, mama, mama, don't. <laughs> That's like the most <laughs> racist thing you could possibly do without yeah. being racist. Pretty much. <laughs> well, if they didn't know we any better. How can we racism line? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How can we make a movie about a black superhero and just make it completely racist? Hey, DC property. <laughs> DC yeah, property. Very, very early DC property. Well, that was like post. That was like when they were still riding the, the Batman high, I think, a little bit. It was like right after. Yeah, were they? I think it was like right after Batman Forever. It was like, I think we could stretch it out to do oh, another might superhero. Have been Batman Forever, you're right. God yeah, damn. and then they did Batman versus Robin, and then it killed and the they, genre they for like. They shot Batman in the back of the head. And yeah. now Batman and Robin's a classic. All of a sudden, yeah. everybody's it's kind of as a, a resurgence. Is what, they freight out what Batman could be, <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> what could be the next superhero movie that can kill superhero movies going forward? What do you think they can do? What do you think they can do? Wonder Woman 84 is pretty that. bad. That's the one I'm worried about. Yeah, think they're getting too big for their britches. Snyder cut, man. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's just a dangerous road to go down. That everyone gets another chance at a hundred fucking plus million dollar <laughs> yeah. film that should have been done. Again, the whole point, and 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 we've said this before, but we'll say it again. It all starts with the script. If you're not going to change the script, there's no point. Yep. There's no point. The story is all that matters. And if you make you're driving like, me off a cliff in a, in a in a Civic or in a Lamborghini, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I'm flying off a yeah. cliff, cliff. It doesn't matter where the, the cliff, fuck yeah. I'm driving. The end, the end result is <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it doesn't way. matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Take that money and make it uh, another movie. Try again. But no. You can't. <laughs> We're Warner Brothers. It seems, we can't it seems think like of anything it seems, else. Well, I don't know. It seems like there's an you can't put a amount candle of money for in a pile of shit and call it a birthday cake. My name is Walter Hamada, and yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Here's my birthday cake shit, and I'm going to give it to you. Still smells like shit. It's like it's like that uh, the, that scene in The Help. Oh, stop where, knowing about black movies. <laughs> I get it. It comes back around. <laughs> that scene in The Help. Of course, Matthew knows that rhyming verse as well. <laughs> I thought that was like everybody's favorite scene of that movie. No, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even lying. <laughs> it's like you want to see a white woman eat shit. You want to see Bryce Dallas Howard, daughter of Ron Howard, eat shit pies? Watch the hell. Oh, that's kind of hot, actually. Yeah, it's kind of hot. God. <laughs> Out of all the you people, like Bryce, see, this is the second time he's done this. Justin, yeah. he likes Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. He likes her. I, know. <laughs> I like gir- I like girls like can make themselves cry on command. Cry on command. It's, it's, it's like. very fucking hot. It's like oh my god. You like, like racist like, Bryce Dallas Howard yeah. crying on crying shit. crying on cue. It's like just, I'm sitting in the corner room like just cry for me. <laughs> cry for me. He's not just cry for me. Oh my, oh, just call me fucking Avita. Call me fucking, call me fucking Eva Perone. Avita Perone. Just cry for me. Cry for me. <laughs> Please cry for me, Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> I promise I won't feed you shit pies. This is this is this is this is like a a restraining order type material here. This is like oh, yeah. well, 
we have a, what a, we have 151 other episodes that have plenty of <laughs> yeah, everything true. on any You've been of restrained us. by the entire yeah, Hollywood community, exactly. actually. <laughs> yeah, we're into restrainment, so it's fine. You can restrain us. Now, on to... I need to talk to you about restrainment. <laughs> <laughs> restrainment is what they do to podcasts. They talk you about movies asshole. eating shit <laughs> I think, I think now this talk. Ving Rames comes out. Star of Rosewood. We should watch Norbit now. <laughs> oh, made in black movie. I hate you. All Rosewood right. directed by John Singleton. John Singleton, yes, the late starring the very racist John Voight, <laughs> basically playing himself. Well, apparently, was showing his true colors for about he five was. minutes. No, there. to be fair, in that movie, he was like trying not to be racist or something. Oh, like so he was going. He's doing a really good. He was, he was playing against type. <laughs> John Voight. Well, I remember when Angelina Jolie said, uh, she's like, I'm cutting ties with my father. I'm like, yeah. why? And, people, yeah, people like, and now I'm like, cool. oh, <laughs> okay. Now we get it. Now we understand. Finally understand. Now we understand. She, we all thought uh, she was Angelina. crazy because she had time. Billy Bob's blood around her neck. But she, she was <laughs> she, she, she's the family. normal one. She's the yeah, normal she's the normal one. <laughs> After the insanity that has gone on the past 13 months, we should seriously consider renaming this segment Believable or Believable. But it is in fact called Believable, Believable, Believable or, or, or Bullshit. bullshit, 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 bullshit Believable bullshit, or Bullshit. This is the segment where I posit something that could happen in the future. And these two guys tell me if it's believable or bullshit. Are you guys ready? Yes, we are ready. We yeah, are all lubed up, lubed up, highly and ready to go. skilled individuals to actually take this seriously. All right, good, they're not going to take it seriously. That's, that's the opposite day here. All right, here we go. Amber Heard will be recast <laughs> in Aquaman due to her continuing legal battles with Johnny Depp. Believable, 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 or, 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 or bullshit. 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 She will. She will be recast. She will be recast. Mm. No, no, she won't. She won't. No, you she'll don't think stay. So, huh? She's still going to get work. She's like crazy hot. So, <laughs> so is Johnny Depp for some people, I guess. I, he's like grimy looking. He looks like yeah. Yeah, he does look kind of slimy, doesn't he? God, he looks like talk about. He looks Bruce better Beast. as Jack Sparrow he than he does as Johnny Depp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will say this. I think they're going to play both cards. You gonna what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You mean I believe the, the next the Amber Heard cut and the non Amber Heard cut for <laughs> <Aquaman>. not. <laughs> I believe that if they're going to make an Aquaman too, whenever that fucking happens. Yeah, that's definitely happening. And if that's possible, I don't know at this point. But anyways, (laughs) if it does happen, I don't think that particular character is going to be in the movie as much as we think. They're going to, they're going to ride her out. Mira's going to go. Pretty much. Pretty much. Maybe a cameo. And that's that. Because Because she's supposed to be like his queen. So they're going to go a different route, huh? Well, maybe uh, maybe Aquaman's got to travel a little bit. Can't bring his queen. You know this has saying? happened before on the Gotham <laughs> TV show, a show that got canceled or it's over. That, Terrible show. Uh, that that show lasted Gordon, like seven years, though. They rewrote Commissioner Gordon's backstory where he marries Maureen Baccarin's character, who is not Gordon's wife in the comic books, it is good oh. because they were banging in real life. So they could do the same thing here, I guess. They could just, yeah, they well, could. if you're banging Maureen Baccarin. I mean, I, I don't blame him. Because my understanding Ryan, is the, uh, yeah. the court proceedings are pretty much done with, and she won a lot. Oh. But it turns out she it's might have lied. So in a bad situation. The liar. And, oh. uh, Johnny Depp has evidence to prove that she has lied because the judge made a uh, judgment and a uh, decision. And based upon his decision, he called out a particular um, charity she donated and said, you know, I, I, she gave $7 million to this charity. And that's mean, you know, she's a good person and she does this. No, and it turns out she no. might have not actually have done that. So no. she's <laughs> using it as an It seems like a, an easy thing to like find out right away. Yeah, you could easily look it's that like, up. <laughs> oh, I put it under my other name, uh, Herd Amber. <laughs> it's my pseudonym. Wow. Well, Amber Curd. <laughs> under Amber Depp. <laughs> So I think I think they're gonna Warner Brothers is gonna play it safe. Oh, so they're gonna. You know the good thing around, about huh? in that movie, they kind of keep her around <laughs> as the character. Yeah, but not, yeah she'll be on the call sheet, around. but that's it. You know, mm-hmm. she's not gonna be big. And if something comes out bad about her, well, then she's they can not in the movie things, really. Yeah. So she's got one fucking scene, and that's it. And she doesn't oh, really look like Amber Heard. Like, and that's not like the most un-Amber Heard looking Amber Heard in all she's the Amber Heard. Really movies. that good? Hey, she's not a good actress. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Talk about eating pussy. She ate a lot of pussy, apparently. No, but, whoa, easy. And uh, then went to <laughs> dick. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was the best of both worlds. The you ever seen that porn? <laughs> I'm staying away from this one. It's right, a recap. Volume Who's four or volume seven? 
<laughs> I'm more of a traditional volume one guy. I like he always goes number one. He's a number one guy. He, he likes classics. Like, nothing like some hermaphroditic porn. The first printing. He liked the first going. printing. I believe oh, Michael yeah. Mann directed half of that. Yeah. One. <laughs> it was, he, 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 then he called it Manhunter. Then it was called, it was called Black Hat. All right, here we go. Uh, despite Wonder Woman 1984 being a bit divisive, Patty Jenkins's Rogue Squadron movie will still be good. Believable, 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 or, 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 or bullshit, 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 uh, bullshit. As long as it's not being written by a certain director, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't believe a certain director. I can't call her out because if I do, I'll no, be don't yelled do, at. Don't, 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 no, don't, no, don't cancel the whole podcast because you yeah, don't, do not say. Yeah, come on, we, we still don't, guess because you don't have a career anymore. I think I mean, we she's a she's a good director, yes, but yes. her writing sucks. And yeah. if you're gonna call me out and say, well she wrote something that actually won awards um that, that particular was, <laughs> was a true story <laughs> right uh, um we're talking about wonder woman here yeah. and that, <laughs> it's a true real. story yeah, of course it is very true story very true and true obviously story. she can't multitask no. so i don't know what happened but i know when i watched that movie like even 10 minutes in, I was like, what the fuck is it's going happening. on? What's here? happening? Nobody knows it gets what worse going on. and worse and worse. And um, yeah, that's <sighs> kind of part of the review I was going to put out was be going to be like, I hope hey, Rogue you gotta, Squadron you the does lead. not let her write an episode because <sighs> fuck. I mean, and I was very, I mean, I was very happy when she got like that job. Sure, she's a great director. She had, and she tells this great story about her father. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. Why are they oh, gonna yeah, talk about my father? And, yeah, yeah, the father. Oh, I realized father. Oh, no. that's what everybody was on the on the things. Like, oh, I can't believe the story she told about her father. It's automatically gonna make this movie great. Yes, right. like that was one of those. her father did it. She didn't. Yep. Yeah. Have her father direct it. His father's oh. dead. Whoops, well, can't do it. I guess. Sorry, father's everyone. Dead. Use Spoiler a wishing stone. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> she can't write and direct apparently. Well, we, she's not given us any evidence she can do so effectively. It's funny because she didn't write the first one. No, she did not. No. And for the some odd reason. The comic book wrote the first one, I believe. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't say and that. And when a woman writes the second that. one. I just said a guy. It got, a lot, no, say, it got a lot like sexist and like oh, yeah, they're, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was definitely a feminist film. But there were some directing choices too that were pretty terrible. But nonetheless, yeah. I hope that God she doesn't write anything. Yeah, like how long that movie was too. Jesus. You in this time thing. That movie was well. Okay, I don't, I don't have a I don't have a problem when I had to watch good. it twice because I fell asleep. But when the they're not morning. good and they're long, that's not good. If your movie's bad, it doesn't matter how long it is. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> bad. I don't, I don't, I don't care if that hour and a half. I the thing about Wonder Woman eighty four, it's bad right out of the gate. It's yeah. bad right in out the middle, the and it's no. bad. <laughs> at the end. I'll give, I'll give benefit of the doubt. The, the beginning of the film, I liked. I liked the, the, the Themyscira stuff. I like. And I like that. And then there was no more Themyscira stuff. <laughs> but there was stuff pointless. Dropped up. Well, yeah, it was all you pointless. You learned about her learning about truth, Justin. Truth. truth. The only yeah. The last is that the theme of the movie? Truth. Yeah. Does any of that pay off later in the movie? Yeah, when she's doing the lasso of truth to the world, spoiler alert. And uh -huh. he tells them the truth is the only That's thing there. The truth. That's so stupid. The truth I got to see Robin world. Wright again, who I love. That's so. the whole point For of like that. For like a second. With her that was the whole point of that scene, because she's dead. It, 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 spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> For one Fuck of the <laughs> no, they're, no, they're going to retcon that for the Justice League movie. It's fine. I hope so. I love Robin Wright and I love Connie Nielsen. They're going to bring her back from the dead because it was really on Earth. <laughs> yeah, make a movie of those. Earth two. 227. I think they're working to make a show about the Amazons. I don't know if they're going to have with those two, but Jesus. I'd watch the fuck out of that show. Yeah, that would be cool, I guess, as long as somebody's not writing it. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. Godzilla versus King Kong will be the first good American Godzilla movie. So good, Japan will actually claim it as canon. Believable, 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 or, 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 bullshit, 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 bullshit,
I don't think you can like the last one really wasn't a good movie, but it was fun to watch. Are you talking about the problem? Kong, they have the Kong movie or problem. the uh, Godzilla movie? Godzilla. The Godzilla King of the Monsters. Movie. The Godzilla movie. That movie. I couldn't tell what was going on. Here's the problem with that movie. In the, all these dark. Godzilla movies, they suffer from the Transformer problem, where the star of the movie isn't the title character. It's yeah. always these fucking people. Like I don't care about Vera Formiga. Yeah, it's like I don't care. Or, I like Charles Dance, but I don't care that he's. A I love Charles Dance, but get the fuck out of my movie. Yeah, I want to oh yeah, no, you're not like, a monster. <laughs> that movie Man. had like a lot of terrible shit a part of it like the the funny thing is like the uh, stock footage that they used and stuff throughout that movie like it was so yeah. blatant um yeah. uh, telling and, a story with stock footage yeah stock footage <laughs> we bombed hiroshima here's a bombing of hiroshima no not that <laughs> <laughs> no when she's like time though <laughs> when, when she was showing like um footage of stuff that she's doing when she's expo- expo- oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. exposed yeah and it's like playing in the minutes. background <laughs> it's yeah. like you're not shooting that yeah. fucking that's something says, borrowed like, from fucking you're, on, you're stock. on the discovery channel it's shutterstock right in the bottom <laughs> yeah, right exactly. corner it's um, free it was so green screened and it looked terrible. It just, but the problem, the problem of that is it's not for the general audience, but the good thing about it is it adds that cheesy factor because at the end of the day, we're watching a monster fucking fight other monsters. It's not just to be, you know, grounded in, in reality. So yeah, but you it's can, fun you to watch that. Little bit, you can do a little bit of both and still make it kind of like not as hokey as that shit. Though. Well, the first Godzilla was was pretty serious. Yeah, it was. It wasn't as hokey or goofy. No. And it was good. And you saw more Godzilla, I think, in that movie than you saw in the other movie. King of the Monsters had the most Godzilla. Godzilla's barely in fucking the first one. That's a whole... Yeah, yeah I think it's more in that movie. Yeah, it's more uh, about I, fucking I like Scarlet King, Witch and Quicksilver. I like the King Kong movies there. anyway. I like the King Kong movies more. Like, oh, I, that's, I, Kong, Skull Island. Island. I, thought, I thought Skull Island was really good. Not, that movie was entertaining as fuck. I think I'm, I'm not a fan of King Kong, so he doesn't he doesn't do anything for me. I'm like, eh, it's a gorilla. I don't think I don't think he's as as iconic as Godzilla. Well, Godzilla's, Godzilla's like, cool, man. My point laser is, breath. Godzilla fighting Comic fucking Redman. King Kong is gonna be fun no matter what. If they focus on them, if they pull a hey, let's talk about our families and uh, like, hey, we get the family like back. This, I don't give a fuck about that. Storyline B will probably have a fucking kid involved. It's gonna have a kid, something. and yeah, and they if have gonna, a if they were mom. gonna follow anybody, it should have been Ken Watanabe and Sarah Hawks or whatever name Sarah is. It Sarah, Sarah Hawks, Hawks? Sally Hawkins. Sally Hawkins, sorry. If it was about them and Kong, I'm fine. I don't give a fuck yeah, about Kyle McLaughlin or whatever his fucking blew name himself is. Kyle McLaughlin. What's his fucking name? Kyle. 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 Chandler. Chandler, Kyle Chandler, Kyle Chandler, Kyle Chandler I want to see a movie with Kyle McLaughlin. Elizabeth Olsen. I don't care about any of these people. Give me Godzilla. You can have people in it. There's not a lot of people. Not a lot. Of, unless it's the scientist. Was it David Stratham from the first two? I, I, I don't mind him. Hmm. They should treat it like a disaster movie with disastrous Godzilla. That's what I was promised. Yeah, but then I'm like, we, we broke my friend. My, oh, my, yeah. Maybe the Bobby will be Brown is here. And, 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 and. I don't give a fuck about it. I don't care about that shit either. She has like psychic Bobby powers Brown? or something. Millie Bobby Brown is Bo- No, Bobby Brown. That's, that's, my prerogative. That's I don't prerogative. give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's humping around in this one. No, hell no. Not enough. <laughs> Godzilla was humping something. I don't know. What he, was. he was humping Gojira. Or, he was humping a nuclear weapon. He, he was apparently. humping Mothra. <laughs> I think he was humping Mothra, actually. What, what were the because what were the monsters in it was Mothra was in it? Uh, 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 was Rodan in it? No, Rodan, Rodan was in it. He was in it. And Mothra then was King, in it. King Gojira. Gojira, I think, was in it. Was it Gojira? Yeah, King Gojira. Yeah. Well, but it was not about them. It was about fucking Vera Farmiga and yeah, fucking and, Charles and Dance. Their, and, and, yeah, and their, and their family issues. I don't give a fuck about their family. Their family could rot in hell. I want to well, see Godzilla. Well, I guess maybe shit. the point is like, who were the real monsters? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. All right, uh, here's the next <laughs> Who's the real monsters? You for saying that thing. <laughs> ah, real monsters. Yeah, you're a real monster. Uh, here's the next <laughs> I'm a real boy. Uh, all the casting rumors for Spider-Man 3 are true, making it a shoe in to outgross Avengers Endgame. Believable. 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 Or, 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 or bullshit. 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 Oh. bullshit. I would say the opposite. We don't think any of it's true. No, I think, no, I think, I think it's I true. Think, I, think, I think it's going to But it's bloated, scary, bloated. Oh, you, don't, you, don't, you think it's going to be a bad thing? Uh, I'm concerned, yes. I'm very concerned. Yeah. It, it, it could work. So what is it? They have all, all the, the Spider-Man shit cast shit. from all the other Spider-Man movies. Oh, oh, okay, that shit. Yeah, going yeah. on. Because what they're going to do multiverse now and shit. Apparently, but the that's villains what, that's too. What all these shows and movies. So are Doc Ock is back. Doc Ock, Jamie Foxx. I Jamie think I heard. Fox. Uh, 
Was it Vulture? I think. I think Michael oh, Keaton might be Vulture back. He's gonna be his Vulture. He's got the guys. Just a little worried. It seems pretty. They're kicking around. I mean, they've literally cast everybody. I've heard everybody. Daredevil's Tom Hardy, in. Daredevil, uh-huh. fucking everyone's supposed to be in. Is Black Cat gonna be in it. it might, might, might as well. <laughs> they got <laughs> Jamie Fox, who was maybe the one of the worst <laughs> Spider-Man villains of all time. <laughs> was he Why the worst not? villain? Because like he was just in the worst Spider-Man movie. No, because he's he, he got a, a the gap in his tooth fixed by electricity. That's probably yeah. <laughs> come on. It's okay. We're talking about fucking people with like and spider- also Wonder Woman eighty four. <laughs> it's like, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's steal that idea. <laughs> but no, I I don't, I don't know if it will. I think if they if it works out, what like if it's a good movie, if it, it works. Could. It's going to be good. Yeah, it will be very good. What's his name directing? This? Tom Tim Tom Watt again, whatever his name is. John Watts, yeah. John Watts. He's he's we, continuing directing. We only per- only person they've they've confirmed so mm-hmm. far is Tom Holland, Zendaya, and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's the only ones that confirmed. But the rumors are from like everyone, <laughs> everyone you can think of. Maybe in they're the, going in the fucking Spider-Man huge. I mean, this this whole new MCU phase is all the fucking multiverse shit. So you might right. as well just go balls the fuck out. They're, they're, maybe they're this is going to be the, maybe this is going to be the end of like superhero movies. Maybe you think that might end the movie? Maybe movie. they're officially going so far into it, just sticking their dick so far down the public's throat <laughs> that they're gagging and they're going to say oh no God, more. This is very no graphic. More. <laughs> this is very graphic. You hear no more? No. Well, See, I don't, I don't hear no more. See, no, 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 Disney and Marvel are like, yes, you're gonna have more. <laughs> We're gonna so much more. <laughs> There's oh, so much yeah. more for you to have. We want Spider Man. We're gonna get three <laughs> fucking Spider Man. Huh? Yeah, I look at it as the girl who wants the joke. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so we're right. equivocating. It will entire... <laughs> work, I think, if they get very small parts. But like cameo it, things. Kind of yeah. like how they did with uh, what uh, uh, the fucking. Into the Spider Verse, but right. Everything. But the problem it, with that is that Into the Spider Verse is almost like a, I don't say perfect, but like, are you going to be able to make a better than that? No, that's a hard. That's a really good. Fucking, it's a really good film, but right. Uh, that's what. What here's my problem, is you have, you know, Batman films had gotten really bad because of how much was going on. It was, blow, it was a blow, bloatiness blow, to the yeah. storyline, and you had to have all these characters on screen and give them screen time and this and that. The problem with this new Spider-Man three is that no matter what, it's going to be compared to in the, uh, the, into the universe, right? No matter what, it's always going to be compared, which is, which is something you don't want. You don't want to be compared to something that great. That's mm-hmm. universally great. Even if you don't like Spider-Man, you're still going to like into the, uh, into the universe, Spider-Man. but Spider-Verse. It, but the thing is, if you make it cameo wise and you take that and you and you you hold that line, I feel like you can make a, a solid film. Who's writing that movie? That's well, what that's you a concern. Know. Yeah, that is a concern. <laughs> you gotta find it's, it's probably you gotta have a deft movie. hand to juggle all these fucking it's probably DL huh? supposed actors that are supposedly in it. Mm. Suppose we could look this up, but we choose not to. Yeah. Right. It's by sure. John Watt, actually. It might be the game yeah. director. Well, it's going to have a whole bunch of people like script doctoring it too. If so. I see, if you tell me Akiva Goldsmith, then I'm fucking scared. Or Robert Orsi, I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> oh no, no. Remember when Akiva Goldsmith used to be good? Yeah, he did Beautiful Mind, and that's that's it. <laughs> that's well, it. He, he's done some. Remember work. when a writer and uh, a writer could direct a film as well? Yeah. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, <laughs> remember that. Pretty much only one person left that can do that. Yeah. And he's, he might be the last quitting. one. <laughs> he might he's be the giving last up. Good one. He's like, fuck it. I'm out. I'm, done with I'm, I'm, a, I'm alone. <laughs> I can't live like this. <laughs> I could go smell some feet right now. <laughs> I mean, there's other ones that are good. Richard Curtis writes and directs his own stuff, but they, I'm kind of a. In the, the, yeah, he's but he's here. so fucking British. He's British. He's fucking he British, fucking man. British, Stephen Moffat. He fucking writes and Moffitt. directs his own shit, too. He's fucking Moffat. Stephen Moffat, he's a Moffat. Uh, his next one. <laughs> his next one. Um, the new Mortal Kombat will replace the old Mortal Kombat film as the best video game movie ever. Believable, 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 or, 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 or bullshit. 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 Oh no, far that will never happen. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. Have you seen these these photos? Look pretty yeah. good. Yeah, but <laughs> it's so it's a different era. That's different a different. Era, the, do they have the song? Oh, I don't know. They gotta have the song though. I, yeah, if I you want, if you want. You can't. They have to have the song. They I mean, the song it. makes 
that also that's the class. Ninety five percent of why more. Ninety five percent of the whole thing. <laughs> it's literally the whole thing. Yes, you know what's funny? Thing. It might they might pull a Miami Vice. I don't know if you guys know what I mean with a Miami Vice. With piss me. Uh, I really like Miami Vice movie. It grew on me to the point where I like it a lot. But the fucking thing I hate is they take maybe the greatest song of all time into the in the air tonight. And then they remake it with like Lincoln Park. Just, you know, it was fucking uh, non-point. Who was it? Non-point. Who was it? Non-point. No, oh, fuck. I Dude. can feel it going. Just play going fucking in the play Phil Collins. What are you doing? <laughs> That's Man, what they might do for a new generation. You know, yeah, they might yeah, they might Mortal Kombat. Kombat. They might use the Mortal Kombat song, but they might make it like by like. Uh, uh, like Fetty Wap, Kodak or Black or some shit. Kodak, oh my god, <laughs> I, can, I can imagine the lyrics. Scorpion says, "Come here." Sub Zero has no fear. It's gonna oh, <laughs> fucking no. I don't know how these. Fu- no, they gonna be so. It's gonna be like some, they, they, they rhyme with a hubba. B two K sings boom. Mortal Kombat theme. Yeah, I can see that. That's like maybe a little bit more kind of. I'm excited you know. for the new Mortal Kombat movie, and I, that looks I can't. Good. I can't wait to watch it. But no matter what, it will never be. As bad, it which is good the as the original Mortal Kombat. What if it is though? What if, it is? if it's, it's no, you it's can't. Gonna be, it's going to be good in its own way. That's but it's lightning in a bottle, DJ. That. Lightning yeah. in a bottle. You and cannot that, man, create Mortal Kombat. The first Mortal Kombat movie made a shit ton of fucking money. Did it? A fucking shit ton. Co- did com- it? Comparatively, yeah. comparatively, not a sequel. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Sadly, it, it was so good. It was like green lit immediately. <laughs> Got a TV no. show too. World, mm. Worldwide Mortal Kombat made like because you you forget about this. Mortal stuff. Kombat yeah, was Asian, huge. Asian. It was gig fucking gigantic. Back when was that 95, 95 what's, or ninety five? What's uh, God, yeah. um, the gross? The um, the um, what they call it when it's retroact? Not retroactive. Um, oh, I mean, um, I would I would say worldwide it was probably close to a billion. No, cal- calm down. I don't know. <laughs> calm I'm down. Down. I have no fucking idea to be honest. <laughs> I think I think you adjusted you, for inflation. That's what I'm thinking. What is the adjusted yeah. for inflation gross of Mortal Kombat? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's, what I'm would sure it's a made lot, man. I mean, it's it's. I'm sure it's. A I'm ton. gonna say 300 million. I don't think it was a billion dollars. There's no way. Well, like, okay. Well, take. I don't know. Adjusted for inflation. I don't know. I mean, it's. Let's a, see. There's it's no made, major stars in Mortal Kombat. Money. It's just a good dumb movie. It's a big stupid dumb movie with uh, who is it? Paul Paul Anderson did it too. Is that Christy Swanson in there? The Super Republican? No, Christy that's Swanson? no, that's fucking uh, Bridget uh, Bridget Wilson did it. Was it? She was Sonya Blade. She, she's the one that was in uh, Billy Madison. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. All right, movie. so inf- inflated, it's about uh, 150 million. That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> Nothing. No, but here's okay. Here's the thing, though. Based on the budget, budget, budget was like, budget was twenty thousand. Uh, oh, 20, 20, 20 million. Twenty million. Twenty million. Twenty thousand. Holy shit! That's the greatest story yeah. of all time. World worldwide well, gross. Try to you drinking in podcasts. Yeah, right. <laughs> Made one hundred and twenty-two million. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's like a Blumhouse number. That's a Blumhouse number. Yeah, that's 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 good. But think about this: there were so far less movie theaters than there are now. I think too. Right. I see. Here's the thing. I. It's I more think, based on sure the first that screen. Now? You sure about that? Well, not right. Okay, not right to say it. I, 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 I rescind that. Because there's a far less movie theaters like, right up, now. Up until January 2020, <laughs> there were a lot more movie theaters. Right. Uh, it looks good. I don't. I got to watch a trailer, but I think they need to embrace the old one. Don't try and hey, we're gonna update the music. You need to. You need to I, mean, I, I want to say, don't even embrace the old one. Just make a completely different one. You but then you're gonna to. be pissed. You're gonna be like, "Well, it's not like the old no, one because the old no, one has no, the song." Fine. No, I can. You just I said can, it's ninety five percent old. It. I can divorce it, but I mean, no. I, I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be better than the original. Ninety five to... was lightning in a bottle for yeah. so many reasons. Interesting enough, uh, domestically it made seventy million. Yeah, Internationally, yeah. it made fifty million. Yeah. Well, the international market is way bigger than it was back in '95. Yeah, sure. China's gonna go. But away. Mortal Kombat yeah, was I think huge. This one has the cast. Yeah. The cast of the, the raid the, guys. The raid the guys brand was, fucking was huge. Oh yeah, the yeah. brand was absolutely the brand world. Was video game was hot at the time. Still came billions on. of dollars. But well, the time. video game is hot at the time right now too. It's kind of like the same kind of thing. Well, here's the thing then too with the video game. It's like no, not as much. The video though, game yeah. looks like a fucking movie. 
You're getting, you're getting Rambo in the video games and Stallone and fucking yeah, like you get everybody. Yeah, in the video that's, games. I, I, have, I have problems. Xenomorph and well, um, that's all the licensing that they end up getting, I, I guess, with Warner Brothers. All the Warner Brothers licensing. Like, sure, it's cute. It's a fun little like, oh yeah, I can be RoboCop and beat the shit out of RoboCop. In there. Hey, you have, Ro- you have <laughs> RoboCop. You had the Xenomorph in there. You had fucking Terminator. Predator, I think is in there. Jason, Predator, and Freddy, I think just, Jason, Freddy, Leatherface. That's just Flash. It's nothing. That's not Mortal yeah. Kombat. Spawn no. was in it. Spawn is this it? He is, uh, come on. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it looks good. It looks good. When when is Warner Brothers uh, releasing that? Oh, later this year, I think. That is a Warner Brothers film, right? In November is on. Well, is it Warner Brothers? Is it Warner Brothers? Yeah, I think I it's Warner so, Brothers yeah. now because it used to be so, New yeah. Line. New, New Line, Line did the New original. Line is Warner Brothers, so yeah, that's yeah. The... So it's Warner Brothers. Plus the video games are Warner Brother games and everything too. So I think that makes the connection with that. Okay. All make right, you final know, one. Make, make the movie you want to make. Make it bloody. Make it fucked up and gory. Make it a super hard R. And go for is that. it R? We, that's another thing. It's the it should, I, I hope it will be R. Oh, it was 13. I take back, back everything. Yeah, back yeah. in '95, they were just trying to get every fucking kid who wasn't who was 13 to go see the fucking movie. Now they don't really give a shit. Yeah, that's true. You can still <laughs> make a ton of money being a rated R Mortal Kombat movie. I can't imagine the 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 budget is that high. For, for they should make it like Blumhouse movies, man. Let's make them like really cheap, but super gory and cool, and you make your money back. You can make like eight of these fucking movies. Argus the plot is anyway. not that deep. <laughs> it's, no. it's Mortal Kombat, bro. Well, like, some of the plot, some of the plot of Mortal Kombat now is fucking deep. Eh, I play the game. It's essentially, hey, we're gonna go blow up your yeah, world. But there, yeah, but there's more to it. There's subtext. There's, subtext. there's like subtext. Ninja, there's like there's like ninja clans and shit. Well, Kang's a dragon. That's the only subtext you can <laughs> turn into a dragon. Raiden's lightning. Eh. You're simple. See, this is why the movie's not going to succeed. You're simplifying it. Uh, it's the plastic graffiti. What do you want from me? Or right, here's the last one. <laughs> uh, here we go. Fucking plug, you asshole. Yeah, I don't see the rating. I've been looking. Yeah, they might. They're, they, they're probably having to finish editing. Or right, here we go. Last one. House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel series, will win back everyone who abandoned Game of Thrones after its horrid season finale. Believable. 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 Or, 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 bullshit. 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 I quit. Like, fuck! I quit I, that. I shit. was just. I was just like, okay, it's over. Cool. You. you it didn't hurt I, you. That no, fucking ending. All. You had no problems with. No, I don't care. It, well, I, here's well, here's. Well, apathy doesn't you, mean hey, that DJ, it was good. Hey DJ, how long have you known me? And how long have you known me to give a fuck about anything at the end of it? Well, you like, can't oh, ignore over. the fact that people were not happy about the ending of Game of Thrones. Of course, of they were pissed off because they're a bunch of. Fucking but you were never going to a- actually get a lot of people happy. No matter which way you cut yeah. it, you're not going to get with anyone Sopranos happy. Sopranos finale and all these it other happened. finales. It's over with. This is a different thing. And yeah. I'll check it out. And if it's good, like it, like its predecessor, then yeah. People are going to come back out of the woodwork and be like, oh, more Game of Thrones. I'll, I'll start it all over again. So they'll be fine. This will be as big. People will be into it. Who's in it? Anyone, anyone uh, in it? I know they had two ideas, and one of them, the one with Naomi this Watts, is a, this, is all of, one Tar- this is a completely different. One. So I have no idea Tar- who's Targaryen family stuff. Yeah, Targaryen. It's like, it's like before fun, but... the Mad King or something like that. I don't know. <sighs> the Game of Thrones is, is, the, is it a happy queen uh, king? It's not, it's <laughs> the, happy, not mad, yeah. the Mad Queen. It's a happy queen. <laughs> <laughs> the apathetic queen, kind of me. Oh. I just don't care anymore. They hurt me. It hurt me yeah. too bad. <laughs> you guys don't where care. Where did they touch you? Everything. <laughs> but when you waste Show me on the dragon five years you. of my life and then go, yeah, fuck you at the very end, yeah, you make me some, not give a shit. Well, some people, <laughs> some people liked it. You know, just Who you, are these people? I don't know. I haven't met them, but I'm sure there's people. <laughs> Who are these people? I don't know. I'm sure there's people that enjoyed the. My end. sister oh, asked me the other day. She yeah. was trying to get her boyfriend to watch Game of Thrones. And I, she was like, what do you think about Game of Thrones? I go, if you're gonna make him watch it, make him watch the first five seasons, maybe six seasons, and then turn it off, because the last part of it is it's it it's if you care, it's painful. If you don't care, who gives a shit? You, you, it doesn't hurt you. But if you do care, you're investing in these characters. You want to see it work out in a semblance of a good way. It's painful because it's like you could see them. It's almost like somebody writing a story, a beautiful story. And at the end of the story, they're like, you can see them rushing. <laughs> like, they're not. They're, well, they couldn't like, wait hey, on this that guy fucking, goes over here. And this fat fucker over. couldn't finish his own fucking book. Do what? They couldn't, that, that's, they couldn't wait on that stupid fat fuck who couldn't finish his books. Well, then I'm sorry. Blame, blame, <laughs> they blame, the, blame the guy who looks like a fucking boat captain. <laughs> the guy who looks like old Bluto? Yeah, looks like old fucking Bluto. 
fucking wear I'm suspenders mean, I'm and mean, shit. Writing a book. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. <laughs> fucking. You know what's funny? R-R. This is almost like a simply shame. I R-R. used to think, it's like his name's R, like a pirate. I used R-R. to think he was. I used to think he was British until I saw him. I was oh, like, he's, oh, he's the furthest fucking thing from a Brit. <laughs> he's like from Jersey, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Jersey he's, boy's he's, like he's from Princeton. <laughs> it's like old Justin Pulitzi. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you have to look forward to. You're going to be Justin. You're going to turn into Justin short Charles Martin, Martin. <laughs> with a Pluto cap. It's going to be him. That's going to be suspenders, like watching the Grateful Dead concerts. <laughs> He's a big fish fan. I don't think so. He's a fish fan. What a pH. <laughs> I don't love so. fish. That's Belizzi. Belizzi in his 70s. Hey, I'm wow. going to go watch the fucking I'm fish concert. The They're fish still touring. The I'm going to my 75th fish show. <laughs> Fuck that. my suspenders and my that's Pluto what, that's cap. I'm more fucking pissed off about people who like the fit band Fish. Yeah, that's, that's another that's problem. What, that's what like I'm more. Band fish. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Believable or bullshit? Do people really unironically like? I don't know anybody who likes them for real. Oh, I know a lot. I know they fucking love it. They fucking <laughs> dig it. They dig it the most, baby. They're from, they they tour down here a lot. I think they're from Tallahassee. I believe. I think they. I think they are from Tallahassee. I, don't I think know. they are. Fuck. You know. Who gives a fuck Holy about shit. that? Yeah. Guys, yeah, exactly. if you're fans of the, this if fucking, the group, this fucking uh, podcast, fuck fish. <laughs> And fuck the Grateful the, Dead too. Are you, if you're a fan of the band Fish, P H I S H. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> with, a, with a PH. This has been Believable, 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 or, or, or Bullshit. bullshit, 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 bullshit Putting the choice bullshit. back in chicanery. Uh, let's do a little TV roundup. <clears throat> you haven't done TV roundup in like two no. months. No, what's TV? <laughs> So I don't want to hear this. I haven't see, heard watched anything. You got two months of watch shit. Uh, Justin, what have you been watching on television? Um, uh, I've, I've started uh, re-watching uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, what a fucking show. I thought you were going to yes. say like you're watching the Rockford Files. I fell down a rabbit hole. Of both. <laughs> you know what's yet. funny? I was, I was showing my mother the scene. And this is from, I don't know what season this is, where, uh, what's his name? Not the one that's married to the blonde girl, the other one. Charlie uh, Day? What's his name? He's got he's another TV show with Paul Pat Oswald. I, I forget I was forget his name. Uh, oh, Glenn. 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 Yeah, he uh, he's with the guy who's married to the blonde chick who's on the other video game show. I forget I was I forget all the names. Anyway, uh, they're oh, yeah, they got a boat. The one, they get the, bo- the one where they get the boat and oh the he's, boat yeah <laughs> he's he's slowly so like revealing that he's a serial killer. Oh yeah, he's like <laughs> because of the implication. Is the implication? So you keep saying that. I don't. What do you, what do you mean by? That? Yeah, it's, it's like so no, no, no. I was like, are you are you going to hurt these women on the scene? No, I'm not going to hurt them. Because, but the, you know, if the implica- because if they do what I say, or the implica- <laughs> well, they keep yeah, it. It, always it. sunny has uh, actually this week have been renewed for four more seasons. What are they like on 20, season like thirty more seasons? You know? That will. My understanding is that will bring them close to to sixteen. Oof seasons total it might be the funniest show not everybody watches it's on it's not gonna be if i had a top 10 list of shows the funniest shows that i, I would i would watch. put it in top 50 comedy of all time i haven't it's watched so it good. in a while right um i watched it the first premiere night i remember staying up watching it. i remember the commercial for the gang gets racist <laughs> yeah is that the one with lethal, lethal I think weapon that that's i think that's the first episode <laughs> and and um <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that I mean, that first season alone is is so strong and yeah. and so good that it's 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 mind numbing how good it continued to be, and the cool thing is how it it changes in a way. These characters go through these these extremely. Uh, one-sided to 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 multi i mean right now in season two which i just began uh danny devito comes yeah, he finally play. came in yeah. and Frank things Frank. get really fucking goofy you know and, and and i remember when he first showed up and i was like i don't know if this is a good idea yeah. and now i cannot imagine the show without him yeah he came in so early it was like why the fuck is danny devito on this show now yeah yeah but like yeah strong the gang gets racist that was that was you know season one charlie gets molested uh, what was the one where charlie couldn't Say philanthropist. That may be the funniest scene. Oh, I don't remember that one yet. Oh, he goes full on okay, rapist. <laughs> I'm a full, full on rapist. Uh, nope, uh, that's not it. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> I know. 
uh even charlie you know uh, uh even just like the the underage drinking episode when they think it's a good idea just... what's the one with the steroids the steroids episode the fucking gasoline in a fucking barrel episode there, there's so much good shit there's so many good shit. yeah there's so many good ones and and it's funny watching season one which is is seven episodes um but they're they're strong they're all strong episodes and then i'm going into season two which is strong and adds danny devito mm. who then continues throughout and it's just to see charlie he, he's 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 kind of normal in season one and season two he starts to you know you start he's to see that goofy this yeah, come frank, out. when frank comes in it's kind of kind of sets him off on his different yeah the they, they, they all go on these different paths and it's yeah. really cool like mac uh the creator rob um you know he's got like a lot of like gay references to him in season one and then he might be or you know he dates the uh um the the tranny um or i don't know when char yeah when they try to pick up the and then they yes. know she's got a dick and everything and and then they keep going over to his place and she's there and they're like he's like dude you know everyone's dennis is like dude come on what do you you know um and it's just it's just really fucking hilarious i think the first episode the arc of these characters are amazing the first episode i ever saw was the one where and this is why i I fell in love with the show is when i I can't remember which character i want to say was it wasn't mac it must have been it was charlie day i can't remember one of them uh is seeing like helping out a a, a old lady clean out her closet and finds like a a a german nazi uniform (laughs) The well, the German Na- the German Nazi uniform comes from Dennis's grandfather in season one. Dennis, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, and he but like Charlie to come over goes, right now, and he opens the door. Yeah. And he's just wearing the fucking outfit. Because <laughs> D wants to go, but she doesn't want to go. She has a thing with against uh, old people. She old right. people make her sick, and and yeah, and, and he thinks that Charlie's done it. He's like, I I don't want you know, and he starts saying some some racist terms to Jews. Uh, that when he dies, he wants to be put in his uniform, and yeah, it turns out it is a Nazi. Nazi uniform, uniform. <laughs> so and good. it is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so good, it's a He's good eating yeah. a banana, just like hey, <laughs> got it. Found a Nazi uniform. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> yeah, just eating. Yeah, it ends with them burning everything, and Charlie kept the hat. If you've never seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia, holy fuck, it's, it's... you are in for a ride. I wish I was you. I wish I was you because. To go into it cold, not knowing anything about it, maybe one of the greatest experiences of your life. Well, I've watched yeah. it. I I watched it religiously, probably up until season nine. Mm. I think I I, I got off Ten? with the the lethal weapon stuff. After lethal weapon, I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I started watching other things. But it was still like, not, but not I not wanted that I didn't to like the show. I just couldn't. <laughs> ke- I just couldn't keep keep up. Keep up. It. Yeah, they were they were making like like they, fifteen they kept... episode seasons and shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean now, I mean now they're on. You know. Season. They have like 157 episodes. Fucking hell! It's There's a, a lot of fucking it, episodes. Of fucking they, you, you, they were on Netflix, and I was catching up, like you were catching up, and then they pulled mm-hmm. it off of Netflix, and I think they put I it on. It's on, it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu now, right? It's on Hulu. But I, I've ordered the DVDs, and I'm, I'm getting them in and watching them as, as they come. So it's, it is good. I'm, I'm, I'm watching it with my woman so it's it's fun to watch it with her and, and, and enjoy think? the comedy and and um we have another show after this already picked out which i will hold as a secret for right now but it's a show i've never watched <laughs> what does she think about uh always funny is she she digging it or is it like loves it as absolutely i i mean <laughs> it's a show uh, our favorite show together is is of arrested development right. and we watch that and just laugh ourselves as we piss ourselves just laughing because it's just absolutely hilarious and laughing in your own piss always yeah. sunny is just right up there i mean always sunny is is just so goofy and funny that it, it really is just the perfect show to just watch right now and, and go through i mean i'm I, i'm I, I to go to get up to 14 seasons is going to be incredible I and mean, we're only on season two and we're watching it here and there so it's going to take a little while but um mm. i'm excited man i'm excited when i hit that nine season mark and start getting into episodes i haven't watched yet Wait, she's gonna i watched all these episodes the weapon when i you missed get to the a lot weapon, she's gonna lose her shit oh it's it <laughs> dude i mean nightman um that that whole, damn fuck i forgot yeah. that whole that thing was like, that was like a, uh, with frank with living in the couch so. and <laughs> yeah. popping yeah. out <laughs> Um, the steroid episode with her and him and D dude steroids. Oh God! When 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 Mac gets fat, um, yeah, 
<laughs> it's it's there's so much good stuff. So, so. good. It's 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 a cavalcade of just hilarity. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. Oh man. All right, Matthew. Top that bitch. Top that. <laughs> Fuck you. Top top this. I'm the top, top bitch. I'm the top motherfucker. There is another show I did watch, but I'm sure we'll loop around and talk about okay. it. Yeah, we'll probably talk. I'm about sure that. DJs watched it. Yeah. Um. I think we did talk about this on the show last time, but I'm so mm. almost caught up with Ozark. Oh, oh, I got, I got about three, like three it, more, three more like episodes it. until season, like it, you like it, season like two or three? season three. I'm on season three. Oh episode, yes, season three, episode eight. You just thing. wait. You, you wait, just, motherfucker. It's, it's funny. Wait. A lot of people uh, when I when I talk to people about Ozark, they're like, "Oh, they like it a lot." And a lot of people didn't say say a lot of good things about season two. I thought season two was fucking. It's a strong. bridge episode. It's a bridge season. Season two was season. fucking strong. Like that, strong. that had some shit going on. I'll and fight you on this. Season mm-hmm. one, two, and three are just as strong as each other. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and that's and when people were saying like, "Oh, season two, I don't know, it doesn't have this," I'm like, "I don't know." Season two had a lot of shit fucking happening in, in season two, and I, I don't know. I don't know how many people. I know a lot of people watch this, so I don't want to spoil. But it's it's really fucking good. Yeah, you're getting close to that last it's, episode. Oh, oh yeah, God, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a lot of shits going down. And Have you seen any? Uh, you should record yourself watching. That yeah, last you should. Episode. This would be like yeah. a, a red wedding type of uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> situation. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 good. There there aren't a Have lot. Have you gotten of... to the Laura Linney scene that I'm talking about? Where maybe the one of the greatest acting scenes of anything I've ever seen in my life. It's so she does good. a lot of acting in season she's three. She's in that fucking season season, uh, season a ton. She so. drives it. She drives that. It's the fucking yeah, main she, character. Her and, her and Helen are the two people really driving. It. And Ruth too. Every people sleep on Ruth. Ruth is yeah. pretty fucking good. There's some there's some annoying stuff in some of the characters that kind of bother me, but you know it's it's fine. It's not all. I'm assuming you don't like the brother of the of the girl. Uh, who uh, Wyatt? The one that looks like the dude from uh, the dude from Stranger Things, who's not <laughs> the dude from. Oh Stranger yeah, yeah. He <laughs> looks like the fuck. Yeah, the the guy who worked at the fucking Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. You will say yeah. this. I think I've said this before. Chips Ahoy. One one thing I hate about movies and TV shows is the whole family dynamic that with the children and I have to deal yeah. with. Oh, mommy and daddy are criminals. Yeah, the daughter pissed and... me off in the second season. She pissed me off big time. But I don't mind. She, I don't mind yeah. the show's kids in it. They're not the so, daughter. Bo- they're not as bitchy. They, they, and, yeah, the emancipation shit was kind of it got that got yeah like, that got really they close. they, and, they you know. I think they took a note because I, I don't know. I, this is my guess because in season two, I wanted her to die. I was so tired of her. Yeah. And in the beginning, like, of season you're gonna three, like they completely up. dropped that, like where she's completely yeah. different yeah. because she was getting to a point where I was like, you need to die because you're dumb as yeah. fuck. Well, I almost feel like they kind of <laughs> they really didn't write much for her in season three so far. She's just kind of like the girl who's making sure the other girl doesn't lose her virginity to the right. Right, right. It's right, like right. Uh, at least the other kid has a drone that he could fly around as at least some his his guiding relevance. light was the the old guy uh your boy the judge from yeah. Ghostbusters too. oh yeah that was I love that guy that guy was fucking fucking awesome I love, was Jim, that was what was keeping Jimmy him kind of Jimmy sane. Small was the shit yeah I, shut up <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was like the, he, stay. he was like the best character in the whole show and then he fucking goes away and it's like ah fuck man yeah. he was that guy was fucking rad he was like yeah. the best character in there. But so uh, yeah, Ozark is uh, is good. So, but on two on two different spectrums, you have Ozark, and then I watched um, but uh, was a Ted Lasso. So that was uh, is the first time you watched Ted Lasso. Yeah, yeah. It, Isn't Ted Lasso the character like Ted Lasso the show? A show you shouldn't like, but you love it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of these things where it's like as 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 dark and as shitty as the fucking world is. It is and, the and how and beam how of light. It's, it's like the one thing you're like, you know what? I should fucking just tear this asshole apart. Like fuck this guy. Fuck everything about his stupid fucking face. But they they write it well and it's funny and there's it's it's pretty clever. It's like it's a very well made, American made British sitcom. It's like they make him. It's fucking good. I say that because in the show people he's so I don't say nice. He's just so captain america e it's not like, like he's a born leader he's goofy as fuck but you want to be like man this guy sucks yeah. or i hate this guy and you're, and you're listening, listening, you hate him he's like this guy's the three most goofy. Fucking, like negative fucking people in all the podcasting right but then you just love Us. him you just fall in love with the guy 
<laughs> so it's like, God damn it. And you watch the characters have the same emotional fucking yeah, roller coaster like, Fuck you are guy. with the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why do I, this guy just won't make me hate him. <laughs> yeah. why, why, I just want to hate you. Why this can't you let goofy me hate you? fucking like fish out of water, like your classic fish out of water. Like, oh, this is fucking done to death. But there's something about it that just kind of, I don't know. Maybe it's just watching. Maybe if this was made back in like 2015 or 2016, we're like, oh, I think life, is, life is good and I'm negative. You know, right. it's like life is shit and I want to be, I want to feel at least kind of, kind of good. But uh, I like the girlfriend of the, uh, the, the, um, she oh, was dating the other her, soccer player and now oh, she's, what's, uh, what's her name from uh, fucking Bat, uh, the Dark Knight Rises? Fuck is that, Juno, is that, what's her name? Uh, uh, Juno, Juno Temple. Juno, oh, that, I knew I've seen she's her. She's super yeah. fucking British too. I'm like, God damn, you're British. Yeah. I like her relationship with the owner. That like dynamic. This is a whole bunch of cool characters that, you, you just you watch a show. You're just like, oh, yeah, you root for you root for people, and I don't I don't fucking root for anybody. I'm fucking yeah. You I don't hate want, everything, and it's so <laughs> it, 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 it's like everything you expect to happen happens, and it's like, oh, I'm not you know. The, but it then just when melts it happens, your cold like, oh, dead heart. It just I know. melts. It. I, need some I don't fucking, know what what it is. Yeah. They have they have like some. It's like a spell. You're watching this show. You know you yeah. should hate it. And it's not like it's bad. It's just because it's so optimistic and happy. And yeah. You're like, yeah, fuck this show. And you're watching and you're like, God, I love these people. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I love everyone? Yeah, what, man, what the fuck's my problem? What's happening to me? <laughs> Why am I turning into like an empath or something? How many right? episodes? How do I, how do I feel? How many episodes? Ten episodes. Uh, ten? And they're about a half hour each. Half hour. And they're good. It's, it's, so if, you like, if you like um, Sudeikis, 10, 12, yeah. this is yeah. the most Sudeikis this might yeah. be the best thing Sudeikis has ever yeah. done. And I don't really like Other him than... as a general general rule. I'm not a big fan of him, but he's he's clever enough and funny enough because there's there's some good lines. There's some shit that you're like, fuck, that's kind of funny. It's very, I want to say, he he he's like Forrest Gump, but he's not... Dumb. He, <laughs> I don't want to say dumb. <laughs> uh, you can say dumb. Is he, is he smart? Is he, no. is he is smart? He... <laughs> yo, boy, like yo, boy, yo, boy, yo, boy really is wants he, to get his education like far. <laughs> Is he like he's kind of like he's he's kind of like Forrest Gump's son growing up. No, he's a <laughs> <laughs> he's just like how Forrest is like naive, and his naive thing kind of makes you go, oh, "God, I should hate you." But yeah, G Willikers, it's like punching a it's like punching a panda. It's like eh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I can't. Well, I don't know, because pandas are fucking vicious. So. And pandas are pieces of the shit. Uh, how about <laughs> why would you punch a kitty cat? I don't know. He just wants to see a panda. Pandas are bastards. <laughs> I'm thinking of koalas. No, koalas are, are fucking mean. monsters. They make good food. Mean. Koalas are mean. They got herpes. Oh yeah. Oh them. man. Yeah. Fucking panda covered in fucking disease. Oh, I love panda. Oh fuck. You eat that food. Holy shit. You'll get syphilis too. <laughs> oh, bring it on. Bring as long as it comes inside of that orange chicken. Oh, syphilis. <laughs> I got that HPV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you watch Capone, huh? <laughs> so what you do, you eat pussy all day. That's right. You'll never get syphilis. <laughs> Little known medical fact. And Michael, that's what Michael Douglas says. <laughs> this this comment sponsored by Michael Douglas's pussy eating habit. What do you been watching? Yeah, they, they, they just started filming season two. I just saw them. Yeah, I, I like. I mean, I, I wanted to, and, and, and the way this the way the season ends, it leads it right into season two. I'm like, I'm more than. I'll fucking pay for Apple TV to watch Ted Lasso. I won't, but I'll still watch it. Is that the only <laughs> thing on Apple TV? Uh, no, no, there's, no, a, couple there's, a, there's a few other things. You have Amazing Stories is on there. Oh, amazing, yeah, stories. but it's not the same. It's not the same. It's it's not it's not it's, the... And I don't care what anybody says. Is the original it's, on there by chance? No, it's not. For, I wish it was. The new ones are not good. Hmm. Not that amazing. amazing stories on Peacock. I they're, bet just on Peacock. they're just fucking boring. It's fucking boring. It's kind of like Boring. goofy Twilight Zone amazing stories. It's like yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm, good. I'm good. Amazing stories is like the antithesis of like Twilight Zone, where Twilight Zone was like dystopian. Dark. Amazing stories are like, hey, yeah. this is gonna be it's like the fucking Ted Lasso of fucking like Twilight Zone. It's the Ted Lasso of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, it, all, all the shit there's this whole fucking rap. Optimistic around Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's the optimistic <laughs> Twilight Zone, basically. It's like fuck this. I don't I don't need that. I don't need that amazing. I want a sad story. Everything. I, only thing I remember from Amazing Stories is the fucking the World War Two plane. Yeah, the, the one guy draws, he, he, he the, draws the fucking gear. thing. And he yeah, that's the, the only gear. thing it's I remember like, from Amazing Stories. That's yeah, like, you know, fuck Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I'll say it. Fuck, fuck him. <laughs> Spielberg, the greatest director of our him. generation. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck that guy. What have you been watching, DJ? 
I haven't watched anything yet. So worry about yes, you have. Say it, because yeah. I want to talk about it. Yes, yeah, say it. Say it. And, well, I've been watching uh, the 1985 show, uh, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, starring uh, Jeremy. Uh, Bullshit. Well, I have. It's really good. I, I I love Sherlock Holmes. He's the Talk first about the superhero. Yeah, why are you burying the lead? I'm going to bury my kind of like if you, if, your ass. If you, if, you, if, you, if you like Robert Downey Jr.'s coked out Sherlock Holmes, <sighs> you, you like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's kind of like honest with you, I'm glad they're not Richard. making those movies anymore. I like those movies. I like you know, I Sherlock liked them, Holmes. but they kind of like got on my nerves after a while. I love yeah. see, Sherlock Holmes is like one of my favorite characters. I wish so I watch TV every show. Version. The TV show. Is I watched Anola Holmes for Christ's sake. So I watch anything. Yeah, you like everything Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Anything was Sherlock that? Holmes. That was, was, uh, was more like that? Sherlock that Bones. Was, that was the female. <sighs> Henry Cavill, though I love him, he's not a good Sherlock Holmes. He's like Henry Cavill walking around. There's nothing about. He has like one scene where he kind of acts like Sherlock Holmes. The rest of the time, he's does just he like, have a mustache? No, he looks oh. like Henry Cavill. He looks like, he looks like beautiful Henry Cavill the whole time. Like, beautiful, I, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man, man from Estonia. If Sherlock Holmes was on steroids. That's what Henry Cavill Sherlock Holmes like, looks like. Jacked up, fucking jacked up, like, fucking Sherlock. Who's Holmes? Watson? Fucking, he fucking like reloads his arm. Watson, Watson is not in it. It's only Henry. It's only Sherlock and Mycroft in the Enola Holmes show. Yeah. And as Lestrade, I think is in there a little bit. Is the there a, what do you call it? Is there uh, a, Utopia uh, is Lestrade? What do you call it? what's a, what's a villain? Is there a Moriarty? There is a there's a villain. I don't want to spoil it, but it's not like a main. I'm not gonna watch fucking Enola Holmes. It's not bad. It's not a bad show. Uh, Helly Bottom Carter I, is a, uh, their mother. Was, no, I thought Enola Holmes was a movie. It's a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's a movie. You said a show. It's, it's, Whatever Netflix, it's not a bad whatever it is. <laughs> it's, I know they're gonna make another one. It's very YA, you know, blah blah blah. blah. It's like a limited series type feel to it. Yeah, I just don't think Henry Cavill is cast correctly. <laughs> he does mm-hmm. not look. He is maybe, and it's not his fault. I think they miscast him because I feel like not, he, I feel like he was getting off the set of The Witcher, and they were like, "Hey, can you be in this movie with us too?" Right, like, but he looks like Superman. But I'm still so, in my old outfit. Like he walked off the set of Superman and put on like a 18th century suit on. And I was like, well, you don't have any anything that's Sherlock Holmes. You know, he's, he's not he's fidgety Sherlock accent. Holmes. He's just like I'm. Mo- he's model Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <There you laughs> he's, he's like doing. the GQ version. He's GQ. He's the Sherlock maxim. Holmes. He's the maxim version of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, people's most sexiest man, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. So <laughs> what have you really been watching, DJ? Yeah, say it. You say it. I've, I've, I watched The Expanse. It's a very good oh, sci-fi series. Say it. Uh, you say bastard. It. Very it's, it's the character say Amos it. Burton is say it. fantastic. Say it. Say it right <laughs> what's that? What's that? Show? I've been watching much. What's, stuff, what's you know? that show? Um, what's that show you've been watching, DJ? What are, what's that? What's the name of that show you've been watching? Say it. So I had uh, The Expanse. Wait. I watched The Expanse. Uh, um, fine, podcast. fine, fine. fine. I watched this show. Called WandaVision. Yes! I watched it. I watched it. Okay. Anyway, God, was it everybody's good. gonna shit on it because God, it's it was a mystery. Good. You didn't give me everything at uh, once. I want to jerk off now, that? not 15 minutes Fuck from them. now. Who Marvel, said it, man? Fuck Marvel. Let's name names so right how now. How dare you DJ. compare this to Dave? Some you have your list? Asshole can't. Look, 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 listen. Who? If you a Who? person name on Twitter, yeah, come, call person on Twitter. Names. Call some names came out. at me because I you said it's somebody? kinda like David Lynchian and says, Don't you dare ever say Marvel in the same vein as David who's, Lynch. Who's, here's here's a favor. Why don't you go like outside? Some random ass. Some it's random. Very I'm like, David I'm like eat a dick. The fucking writers literally said we're it? copying Twilight Zone at David Lynch. So that's all I said. <laughs> I wasn't saying you it was as good as You must have really David struck Lynch. a nerve with this nerd. It, it, I, 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 I'm so tired. I'm getting tired. Usually I like, oh, I'll defend Marvel. Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting tired of like, it's Disney. For, fuck them. Everything they do is wrong. If you like Disney, you're falling to the man and the corporate. It's like, shut the fuck up. You think David Lynch doesn't want fucking money? You think fucking people who make the Twilight Zone doesn't like fucking making a corporation, corporate shit? They all want money. It, Fellini wanted money. Fucking name any fuck. Uh, Truffaut wanted fucking money. <laughs> Everybody wants money. Nobody makes a movie to get not paid. So I'm tired of hearing, it's Marvel, it's a corporate machine. You like a Marvel movie, so you don't like art. Art people are fucking better than Marvel. So fucking tired of that shit. Just shut the fuck up. Only thing I was saying is, the show is very Twilight Zone uh, mixed with uh, Bob Newhart. Or mixed with uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Mary Tyler Moore. That's all it is. There's a scene that's straight out of Blue Velvet. Not because it's as good as Blue Velvet, you fucking asshole piece of shit. It's I think it's literally I think copying it's the Velvet. same. Blue Velvet. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm, I'm exhausted, not even tired. I'm exhausted of having to have, you, you say it, somebody on Twitter was like, I wish these Marvel shows would all come out at once so people stop talking about it. Fuck you. Fuck you, because I'm so tired of why they keep making all these Star Wars shows. Nobody says why they keep making all these cop shows. Why they keep making all these lawyer shows. Why they keep making all these doctors. It's the same shit. Shut the fuck up. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. So tired of it. This is why I don't like talking about TV shit, because I, it just, it just annoying. It's just so fucking annoying. Well, TJ, we don't have to annoying. talk about it. We don't have to talk about that. Part. I don't even get to enjoy but it. I, tell I can't you even this. talk about how much I like it. It's I fucking great. Here. I enjoyed everything about it. It was right. actually quite funny. It was yeah. really well done. They, quite they look frankly, like they're having a blast. They're having I hope, time with their fucking life. I hope this, 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 I, I, I know they go to the 80s eventually. Yeah, you know? right. And the 90s. And and the I kind of don't want yeah. that. I kind of, I kind of want them to stay now. I, I was like, the first episode, oh I'm like, God, I, I like could watch a whole show of them in uh, the Dick Van Dyke show. I can watch yeah. an entire season of this. Uh, I'm like, I, I'm I, like I, the, I like the second episode when it's like bewitched. I'm like, right. I, 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 I kind of start, I stopped, for, I forgot halfway through like the bigger picture of Marvel. I kind of went like, Man, I don't hope this magic trick end. works out. I like I, I got caught up in the story of the yeah. of the reality she's doing, and I forgot about all the Easter egg shit that's happening all over the place. The Mephisto yeah. stuff and the, the Grim Reaper and stuff and the Wonder Man stuff and the AIM stuff. So it's, and it's actually funny. I yeah. it's, it's it's yeah. It's I like get to see Mike. Was great. I, I, people I like didn't people episode a lot. Young young assholes forgot. Oh well, yeah, Paul Bettany is a funny motherfucker. Have you yes. not seen Night's Tale, one of the most underrated movies of all time? Have you not seen Beautiful Mind? Paul Bettany can be funny as fuck, and when he does that drunk shit in the second episode, yeah, that it's was like, funny. I like this it. is the Paul Bettany I love. Yeah, this is great, Paul Bettany. Great, Flourish. he's having a blast. It's yeah. good to watch a show where people you can clearly see had fun making it. They, yeah. you can tell, they had a blast making this fucking show. Oh my god. It's so, good. Yeah. It it's was a real so problem. We have a problem out there. People who listen to this podcast. When does it come out? Every Friday or something? Every Fuck Friday. Them, Friday let's, yeah. just talk, Every Friday. let's talk about the fucking show, man. Let's talk about <laughs> Fuck those assholes. Yeah. You give a shit about them. It's a Friday? Yeah, it's yeah. Friday. Friday. Yeah, it's, that's cool. I got something to look for. I enjoyed it. I, I, I watched it back to back, those two episodes. And yeah. uh, so did I. I, I again kept saying I know they go into different time periods, but I would I would be fine if they stayed here. This is fantastic. I thought they were going to stay there for a while. I thought it was going to. I didn't be know like it was going to. I, think, I feel like every episode couple. is going to be a different decade. I almost yeah. I, I yeah. I just figured that because they were doing it so well, I go they could sit in this Dick Van Dyke thing for like three episodes. Then, but then I heard like an interview where she was like, "They're going all the way up to the Modern Family era." Yeah, so I was like okay, they, like they must be doing I guess camera that. type stuff. That would, right, right, it's right. It's gonna be so fun. I, like, well, I mean, I, I well, like, they do that. I hope like it. Like if they do a second season, I hope it reverts back or something. I don't think they're gonna do a second season because remember, I, it's limited. Again, right? sorry, Marvel, yeah. blah blah blah. This is all supposed this to tie into part of this. Is, yeah, this yeah, is all this part of leads the, into the Spider Man three, space, which leads into Doctor yeah, Strange. So. Well, oh, the thing too is like this one. I really like it. This ends in mid beginning of March. I feel. And then what? Right, two when, week, two weeks later, you got a uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. So when's Loki come out? Is that after? I, I feel like it's going to be after Falcon Winter Soldier. So if, if, I I almost kind of want Loki to follow this because Loki also seems weird as fuck. Yeah, and crazy and insane and I, shit maybe, like they're, that. maybe they're just balancing it out. It's like you get something really surreal, then something deadly serious, and then you get something kind of weird and funky again type thing. So. It's funny because it it seems like. Uh, uh, <laughs> The way this is going, I don't know if because my sister was asking me about it. She was like, "Shit," because she loves, she's always loved Scarlet Witch, and I was kind of like trying to tell her about the show without, because I kind of know where this is going because it looked like they're following House of M stuff. But I'm like, "Do you understand how?" She was like, "When does this take place?" I'm like, "I don't know." She says, "How do you not know? Is Vision alive?" I'm like, "I don't know." She says, "How do you not know that?" Yeah. I'm like, "Well, Wanda's very powerful, so she it's can multiverse. Do whatever she wants. This could be taking place." before she died during the time the seconds when she died after she came back yeah. i don't know when this is taking place i i guess the monica rambo's thing is kind of the clue that it might be after endgame but she mm. created rallies bro and i have no idea what's going on which is a good thing that's I, fun you don't know what's going to happen and everybody's in the same boat because nobody knows nobody can guess like oh this is you're gonna have some assholes come out and be like well this is like this storyline from the book right, 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 right. 
the yeah, David Lynch they're, they're, movie. They're, 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 I love the little they're. little ads that they have. I wish. I oh wish yeah, those were really good. Did, you, did yeah. you notice every ad is a traumatic yes. event from Wanda's life, which is fucking yeah. Cool. I, I, the the beeping the hydro, toaster, which was the watch, bomb, yeah, yeah the hydro had, watch, yeah. it had the same beep that the bomb that blew put the shrapnel in Tony's chest in the first Iron Man movie. And then I remember when Wanda tells the story in Age of Ultron, where she's like, "The bomb didn't go off; it was just sitting there for like a day, and we were just afraid to move." I was like, "Oh wow, they took their fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> they put the, the the Von Strucker watch is more blatant. Yeah, it's more the like toaster easier. oven. I was just like, oh, this is." effort <laughs> there's yeah, the effort toaster here. oven was definitely more of a kind of like hmm, you really got to think about it. that's you gotta think great. about it yeah yeah so. and then with the red the red blinking light and then I, I went back and watched the scene from iron man one when the, he gets hit with the shrapnel i go it's the same beeping noise <laughs> it's that when you know they're trying and the, and the helicopter with the iron man uh colors and the grim reaper reference the mephisto reference and yeah. Catherine han yo Catherine Hahn is the shit. <laughs> I love Catherine Hahn. I love me some Catherine yeah, I Hahn. I love her. She's she's a she's national a fucking job. treasure. I I, I know that heavily rumored, almost confirmed, she's Agatha Harkness. I can. T- I hope she. I hope it's not a one off. I, I can watch her character all the time. Not just in this universe, but she. I think she's the one leaving all the breadcrumbs. I think she's helping. Either she's controlling Wanda or she's guiding Wanda or she's the one that got Wanda in the state because the Mephisto drop where she's like, oh, Bev, the devil's in the details. Yeah, I was Ralph. Like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit. That's yeah. Catherine Hunt's nailing this shit so well. <laughs> so she good. Looks nice. She looks like she's having a fucking time of her life. What was the deal with the B guy? I, I think yeah, he's the B man. I think it's a sword operative wearing a hazmat suit. And I think Wanda is doesn't clearly does not want to be taken out of her fantasy so she just keeps making things that are trying to in, invade her reality All right she reverses as normal it. as yeah. possible so instead of a, a hazmat suit that's a b outfit instead of a helicopter it's a toy helicopter okay. so I, I think she's manipulating that somebody said as aim because the aim soldiers in the comic books they look like b keeper outfits or whatever oh, okay but it has clearly has a sword logo on the back of it but whatever yeah. it is wanda's controlling the what things look like what yeah. things are uh how things appear by it's almost like she's she's incepting herself she's making the dream and living it at the same time and at any point where the dream is being broken she goes back in control like when the the boss mr hart is choking yeah and vision paul Bettany, who's so fucking good he has this childlike worry on his face when the mom from that semi show was like, "Stop it, stop yeah. it!" It it's she right there. If you watch her face, you can tell she's going from what's going on to I'm now back in control. Do something, Vision. It's like it's so much different level shit that she's doing. This might be the best shit Elizabeth Olsen has done. <laughs> and, 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 no, she's fantastic in it. Yeah, the both of them. Yeah. Now it's not old boy. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Me and Matt saw that, and then. <laughs> oh yeah, that, 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 was, that was something. I saw it too. I saw it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, we, it's not her fault. This is, you know, not a good movie. <laughs> I mean, it's Spike Lee's fault. Yeah, it's Spike. It's Spike Sweet. Spike Lee. What's, what's, what's hey, Spike Lee, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they, I, I, when I know when it was first announced, I was like, okay, like whatever. It, it, and it, it, I, I heard the concept. It always seemed like, intriguing to me. I'm like, this is going to be weird. But damn. You can, do, you can do so much. I didn't feel I think, like it was weird. I just, like, for me, like, when I was watching it, like, I was like, I under, like yeah the concept of it's weird and all like when it was first talked about but like now when you watch it you're like yeah. yes this is what I need this is what I want right now what's something that's so like what, so what they're un, doing it's I so think un- it, Marvel it's like it's still yeah, Marvel all but black it's Marvel, and white which like finally something different but you know, if you look at the eras you you would know that you guys would know this better than me you it's clear like the first uh, episode was kind of like twilight zone outer limits of the dark when it got dark what are they aping not saying that's better than what are they trying to attempt twilight zone the second episode it was almost like lynchian with with the with with dotty cuts her hand and uh uh it was a lot of different feelings i was getting i was was, 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 but when it gets to the like the the 80s what are they gonna take from that's creepy are they gonna go? Uh, I mean, you go like you go. I mean, you can still go kind of like Lynchian, still a little bit. You can still go like some Twin Peaks, mm. Twin Peaky, maybe like. Or they go into Eerie Indiana, or you go like Tales, uh, oh, from, the, uh, Tales from the Dark Side. movies. That, that would be awesome. 
That would yeah. be dope as fuck. Well, like a little bit like of a that, slasher. Well, oh, if you get a like Freddy Krueger shit in the fucking the uh, 80s mm-hmm. one. <laughs> well, even that one episode, it looked like very like Spielberg with the hollow like them going out for Halloween. That her, looked like her, ET. Her, her That's dress, right. her dress, yeah. the Scarlet Witch, and him dressed as like him the walking vision. around in the street with the with the old like the the, the, vision, the, the old vision, vision costume or whatever. That looked like, like that. ET. Yeah, so it looks like an ET. Spiel. No, it's gonna be very Spielbergy. Sure, it's you know, the, maybe not a Justin says it. I almost kind of want them to do a little fucking nightmare in Elm Cause, Street. Because it's it's it, no matter what, like what is it gonna be in the eighties? Well, Spielberg, who pretty much are, you know he ran was yeah. the eighties. Yeah, but man, if you did like something like because that's like. Because the seventies would be like almost like a three. Because Mephisto is pretty devil. He's the he's the devil. So that's it's close devil, to man. Freddy Krueger. If they if they're really going Mephisto, you could do some Freddy Krueger shit with Mephisto. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to do something different. Because you're 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 in an era right now where you couldn't do that. And if they're going through different errors, well, like go a little darker. You know, you, you, yeah, you, you can go, go scre- real dark. You can go scream. Because there the 90s. there there is some elements that are not children like in in. Uh, in the first two episodes, I was kind of surprised. I'm like, Disney, okay, good yeah. for the you. Choking, the choking scene was that. That's what made me think of uh, uh, Lynch. There were some sexual things that were said. Oh, which yeah, was, yeah, yeah, which yeah. was absolutely. I loved it. I thought that was great. I, I was well, a, basically it's them fucking in the bed. It's like, oh, you did a good job with the well, bed. The way they write it, it's it's so well. <laughs> if you're a kid, it would go right over your head. Yeah. But if you're an adult, you're like, oh, that was. Oh yeah, good. they're fucking. <laughs> Yeah, all right. God, I wish I was part. I wish I, I wish I was it, in that bed. I well, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was the bed. <laughs> I wish I was the bed. I just, I just, I, I want it. I want them to come out with uh, like a little like making of for this. Oh yeah, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. They I need to watch to. this. I need to watch that. It looks like the that of writing of those two episodes must have been the funnest thing they will ever do in their yeah. entire Well, the people career. who did the the song from Frozen did the theme song. Yeah, they did for the, the I think the first. Are they doing episodes. all the theme songs or just the first theme song? I, I, I know I they did they the first. I know that the. I like the fact that they're doing different theme songs for it. The changes it seems like that. Yeah, yeah. I hope like, they like, do. This, this well, I like the off. opening. The like the second one had a bewitch. It was like bewitch. Like, like the bewitch yeah. one is amazing. I would watch that all the time. I wish it was yeah. just that one. <laughs> That's fantastic. I did. I did. Well, now we're gonna go with seventies. So we're 70s. gonna get the, the the Brady Bunch one. We do like Brady Bunch or like but, Three's Company or something like that. I think they're gonna go full house with the eighties because I can see full house. Yeah. Full House, nineties. Yeah. Maybe do Friends or something like that. You do like Must See TV or Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Oh maybe man, like a Seinfeld one would be kind of goofy and funny. Oh. And then I guess the thing about it is the show's cool. I'm kind of interested in what the commercials are going to be. That's yeah. what I wish there was more commercials. Yeah. I think that's true. <laughs> is that show. weird? No, no. no the commercials are so well done. This yeah, like, I wish there was more commercials. And I think it's the same guy that those, does the commercials. And I think they're going to keep using those two actors in each one of the commercials. I almost okay. feel like the maybe the actor is like he's Mephisto. Well, because maybe Wanda's like watching like this one commercial with those two actors in yeah. it, so she just she grew up in them. she grew up in Sokovia like watching these two actors. Yeah. On, on TV, they're going to be. In a, I think you're right. Memory because they were. were maybe those are her parents. Could be yeah. died. Yeah. Maybe who knows. I think I mean if Mephisto is in it, though they they keep heavily hinting at him because he's even in the Loki trailer. Uh, I think it's Ralph. I think that's her. I think Agnes's husband is Ralph or, or is Mephisto because she keeps referencing him over and over. Uh, Ralph, the whole yeah. if Ralph would have had an anniversary, it'd be a beer named June second or something like that, which is the Salem witch trials. Every time she brings up Ralph, I'm like, who the fuck? Why is she even mentioning this motherfucker? We've never seen him. Uh, and Mephisto is very closely related to in the comic books to Wanda's kids, so I, I think that's who it is. I don't know if it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I thought it was that black guy for a second. The yeah, that'd be cool too. <laughs> What's his name? Sherbert or Herbert? Yeah, <laughs> Herbert. Sure. I thought it was Sherm. him. It's her. <laughs> but then I like caught myself and I was like, well, obviously that wouldn't be the case for the time period because no, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, so that, like that, I guess that just goes to show you, like, you know, I was like, oh. That, how do you feel time, about Kat that Dennings? time period? Show up eventually. <laughs> how, you, how do you Who? feel about Cat Dennings? Is she showing up eventually? Well, uh, she, no, I can do it. She's already in the trailer, so yeah. So when, when does she come? She, in? she might be the one watching this show. Actually, it's her, her in the uh, first also, episode. They show a female hand. Be it, uh, fucking uh, Randall Park's going to show up in it too. So he's the one on the radio yeah. telling yeah. who's doing this to you, Wanda. Who's doing this to you? That's him. Yeah. So, so you have Randall yeah. Park. You have her. So you got these people from you know, you're be dropping in here left and right. And we're probably going to get a Benedict Cumberbatch thing. He's, yeah. he's you should heavily imply that he's going to show up. So yeah, well, it seems like he's going to be the center of this entire new phase anyway. Yeah. You can Dr. do so Sam much. Her. Yeah. 
So yeah, Wanda's great. Yeah. I can't wait. She should leave the fucking team. <laughs> she, she's too crazy, man. She's crazy, man. She's crazy. I like know. She's crazy. That's what I like. I like. <laughs> dynamite, I like. baby. I like the crazy dynamite. Man. She's the most powerful thing ever. But she's dynamite. <laughs> Thanos was getting fucked up. He's like, "Yo, fire everything!" Yeah, fire. I don't even know. I don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish he said that they used their one f bomb. I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know who, the, know who the, the fuck you are. You are. <laughs> I want that recut. I, I would fucking you. walk out of the theater just crying, laughing. Yeah. If you just said, "I don't even know who the, know the fuck, fuck you are," <laughs> I'm Wanda. What? Wanda? Who what? Who the Who's fuck Wanda? are you? <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> Time for the latest listing, from our lovely and loquacious law book laureate. It's Julie's Diary. Dear Diary, Since we've all been living in the most boring parts of a Roland Emmerich disaster movie this past year, I've forgotten about a lot of things that are supposed to still come out in theaters, despite my total disinterest in them. For instance, they are still making a Morbius movie. Fucking Morbius. Totally slipped my mind. And for good reason. Morbius is like the lamest vampire in modern fiction. And second lamest in non-fiction, behind Tucker Carlson. There's also a ninth. Fucking ninth, Fast and the Furious movie coming out. Where Vin Diesel and John Cena play brothers. The only thing between those two that seems related, is the anabolic steroids they use. And somehow, someway, there is still a Space Jam and Tom and Jerry movie coming out. Nothing says theaters are back and ready to usher in the new future of cinema, than two arcade cartoon brands, from the 40s and 50s, with a long history of racial insensitivity. You want to talk about irrelevance? If I asked anyone under the age of 20 who Tom and or Jerry is, they'd probably say two contestants that got kicked off of RuPaul's drug race. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back after these messages. And a Snake Eyes movie? Unless it's about losing money playing craps, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Do you like movie podcasts hosted by inebriated people? That's Kai with the cracking voice and Heather's touched by evil. One thinks he's Spider-Man, the other is a ninja. It's the Man I Love Film Podcast, it's the Milfcast. Hey everybody, I'm Kai. And I'm Heather. And we are the host of Milfcast, the Man I Love Films podcast, the unofficial official podcast of manilovefilms.com. This is the podcast where we like to talk about what we've been watching, talk about movies, but mainly we just like to drink, be silly, and play a whole bunch of games. So we think every other week you should grab a drink, snuggle up, and let us make sweet love to your ears. Otherwise, we'll make sweet love to your couch. So come and find us on iTunes. Just search for Milfcast. Hello, I'm Hans Gruber, exceptional thief, occasional kidnapper, and this is Bad Guys in Bars Drinking Bourbon. On today's show, I'll be drinking an Old Fitzgerald six-year bourbon whiskey with Miami drug kingpin, Tony Montana. Welcome, Tony. Hans! I like the suit, Chico. John Phillips, London. How about yours? Oh, you know. Chickies! Overlock! So tell me, why no women, no kids? Hans, haven't you been paying attention? You'll do anything to a woman or a kid in this day and age. You'll cancel, Chico. I'm a bad guy. But I got a business to run. Nowadays, even holding the door open for a woman is considered third degree sexual assault. So what's your preferred method of intimidation? I, for example, like a good countdown, a three, two, one, never a four. Intimidation? What's that? You know, the threatening of violence before the actual act of violence. A threatening of violence? Oh, Hans, I don't threaten. You fuck with me, bang, that's it. Well, more like, bang, bang, bang. At least three bangs. It appears to be a magnificent creature, though. Yeah, but it shits everywhere. When you buy the tiger, they don't tell you it's a shitting machine. And I'm talking big shits. 
If I ever lost a shoe in one of them, not lost like he got stuck. Yeah, I'm talking disappeared. Like she was ankles deep. Hans, like we had like four glasses. I don't even, I don't even know if I'm fucked up yet. How much does this shit cost? Three thousand dollars a bottle. Bullshit. Bullshit, Hans. I could get you an eight ball of the purest Colombian Coke for under a hundred dollars. And trust me, we know right away. You see, a pelican is a white bird with a large mouth used for swallowing fish. Ah. What you saw was a flamingo. They are the pink birds with the skinny legs. Ah, a flamingo. So, they knock on the door, and he's like, damn. I'm thinking, don't I tell you to stay the fuck away from my sister? I have an accent, but I know I was pretty clear. I wanted to shoot the son of a bitch. So, what did you do? I shot the son of a bitch. She was heartbroken, but to make a long story short, she shot me back, so it was cool. Bad guys in bars drinking bourbon will be back after this. Time for a game we had to put on the shelf for a while, because it's as close as we get to being cancelled on this show. It's Kill. Fuck. Mary. Kill, fuck, Mary. This is the game where I mm. throw out three mm. things, mm. and Justin and Matthew are going to have to tell me which one of them they would kill, which one of them they would fuck. Which one of them we, they would marry? Uh, you guys ready? Yeah, sure. I'm ready to kill, fuck, and marry. Oh god, you're you, you're Not always in that order. You're always for a, th a three peat here. No, uh, oh, triple Twitter. Yeah. This is gonna be a fun one. I, 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 though I think I already know the answer. Uh, kill, fuck, marry. Aquaman movie villains. Birds of prey movie villains. Wonder Woman movie villains. Ooh. Kill fucking and marry one of them. You huh? got you got Ocean Master and uh, Ma Black, Black Manta. Mm. You got Victor Zaz and Black Mask, and you got uh, Ares and Cheetah and Ares and Cheetah. Maxwell and, uh, Lord Max and Maxwell Lord. I always want to call him Booster Gold for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Maxwell <Gold>. Lord. <laughs> Gold, Maxwell. Better care. That's not the Maxwell Lord I know of. So. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Just add that to. Funny <laughs> enough, he was the only good part about that entire movie. So we're not exactly. talking about the characters, but we're talking about the characters the of the movie, not yeah. the history of the character. Because I like no, we're talking about only the in the movies, movies. Yeah. only okay. in the movies, right. yeah, <laughs> only in the movies, only the movies. Who played Victor Zaz again? Did I know he uh, was the guy from the guy from uh, uh, New Oh yeah, Room. it was fucking what's it? The guy from New Girl. Yeah, what's his yeah, name? Not, not, not New Girl. Fucking uh, uh, Mindy Project. The yeah. Doctor. I just remember him as the, as Jane Fonda's son from Newsroom. That's how I, I remember. I mean, this, so when yeah. I saw that was him, I'm like, he looks completely fucking different. Yeah, he was crazy in that movie. He was actually pretty good. Outside of the movie being a fucking mess, he was. Actually, Is he good enough to marry? He's good enough to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably fuck the the villains from uh, Birds, of Birds of Prey. Yeah, I got and, no uh, problem with Ewan McGregor. He was. I mean, yeah. the, the movie's not. My favorite, but uh, he's not bad at it. I'm, I'm, I'm killing Wonder Woman, and I'm gonna, probably going to marry Black Manta and Ocean Master. Really, you like? I like the name. I like the so name not. Ocean Master too. Black Manta. They're both like kind of pretty cool. Yeah, I like they, those they, guys. They, they, they kind of have like Ocean Master. Call me Ocean Master. No, I'm going to call you Black Manta. You know, <laughs> even though it, that almost seems like I want to fuck them, but you know, I'm, I'm, I want to. It's funny because Black Manta is Doctor Manhattan in the the Watchmen TV. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Gabor. Yeah, 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 Gabor. Gabor. Yeah. <laughs> what are you drunk over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> well, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm going with uh, match choices. Whoa, really? I the perfect pairing. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Next one. Oh yeah, hot. Let's get, we're off to a hot start. Yeah. Mm. Double Dare, American Gladiators. Oh, fear factor. Oh, okay. The wild, the wild I've thought about this one a lot. I thought you were going to say wild and crazy kids. I was thinking about wild and crazy kids, but that's yeah, not a lot of people fear, go wild and crazy fear kids. fear factor in there, though. I threw fear factor. I went with the, with the more popular fear factor. The wild and crazy kids, great show. Yeah. 
I was thinking about that show the other day. Fear Factor, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to kill right off the bat. Too much, too Don't much cow cum. Come. Joe yeah. Rogan, huh? Not, too not much, a fan. Too much, too much <laughs> Rogan. I, I, don't know. I like Joe. It's just, uh, it's just too much, uh, too much horse semen. <laughs> that is true. There's too much <laughs> horse cock. People are eating too much horse cock, <laughs> or pig cock, or whatever, whatever other cock. It's eating. always like a dick. They're always eating it's a, a dick. dick somewhere in there, or balls or something. Yeah, there's it's balls or dick. What I always hate about that show is when they did the the, the heights thing. Like yeah, you were yeah. always tied to a safety. Yeah, so you're not, not afraid die. of. You're gonna be yeah. rescued. You're not gonna be afraid of anything. Yeah. Like, you don't you even that scared net, me bitch. That. <laughs> when, when they would do the thing, sometimes you're like inside the car underwater, yeah, like you're in a, you're and it goes around cage. and around, and like you can drown. I'm like, yeah. I don't like. I'm not into that. That's that was. Now take away me. that harness. Yeah, yeah that's where we're talking. Kill factor. How about that? Yeah, death factor. Death factor. Joe Rogan's like, oh shit, he's dead. Fucking dead. Wasted. You should have just taken the money. <laughs> you should have taken the money. You didn't have to do that thing, too. <laughs> so kill, Fear Factor is dead. I almost call it Kill Factor. Fear Factor. Kill Factor. It is Kill Factor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck Gladiators and marry uh, Double Dare. Double Dare so wholesome. You got to... On your mark. I know. There's too many, too many young... <laughs> Get set. Too yeah. many young children with that. Very. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want to make it awkward. <laughs> Plus, I'd rather I could do double dare for the rest of my life. Like to me, that was more entertaining than all those. Are you gonna you pick, get the flag out of that nose, Justin? That's what you're gonna do. Oh, I could have killed that. Listen, I would, yeah, I'd like the Sunday I, slide. I, that was always my. I knew the one. tricks. I knew the tips yeah. and tricks you, of you everything. With that. That, that <laughs> double dare, I had it. I he did the behind, it. he did the back lot tour of Universal Studios oh, yeah. in Orlando, right, Florida. He knew where that he knew where that nose was. He knew where that flag was. He was practicing. Listen, I didn't I didn't need the fucking. The, the sketchers, okay. I didn't need the yeah. sketchers. How about so the I would, I would even want the LA Knights. You didn't want the yeah, LA the LA Knights were the thing. <laughs> LA looks and LA Knights. Well, Encyclopedia so... Britannica. Space oh camp God, trip. I, I wanted the space camp. I wanted the space. I wanted the space camp trip. Oh yeah, I want to go to Cape Canaveral, Florida, and go, go uh, to space camp. <laughs> I want to be like in that movie Explorers. Ooh. Oh yeah, well, they're in the garbage can that flies. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that's what that's what I always wanted to get my own garbage can. <laughs> You know who's in that movie, right? Uh, uh, Ethan Hawke. Uh, Ethan Hawke. River Hulk? Phoenix. And he's, I think Ethan Hawke. That's who it is. Damn Ethan Hawke is in it. Maybe River Phoenix is in it. To be Ethan, Ethan Hawke, Hawk. known comic book movie hater, going to be in a comic book. Now in a comic book TV show. <laughs> What? Why would you ever like the movie Logan? Logan's just a good con. He's one of those fucking guys. He might have been the guy on Twitter that was bothering me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, Ethan Hawke had his Twitter account suspended, so he topped Ethan Hawke, you want to do a comic book show? No. No. How about it's called Moon Here's Knight. how much money they're going to give you. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm doing it. Sure, sure. He's That's si- what I'm saying. He's, he's All these working arty for farty for before Richard sunset motherfuckers. They just want the money, man. Everybody wants no, Everybody the just money. wants the money. Look at fucking Christian Bale. That motherfucker. He's going to yeah. be... Well, he was already in Come on. Batman. He's done two comic book movies, for Christ. <laughs> he's crossed over. He's in DC. He's, now. he's, he's, in the fucking, he's doing Marvel. Name movies. anybody. They've been in the comic book movie. Viola Davis? Comic movie. Name anybody. They've done it. Anybody who's anybody. The only people who ever been in comic book movies yet is us <laughs> I, uh, we might be you don't know that you don't know yeah, that but... maybe well maybe we're in wandavision <laughs> wandavision all right Wanda, um, WandaVision. yeah i, I Matt, agree with that I, I agree with oh i have one issue with wandavision i forgot well, what is i'll it? bring it up real quick the second episode they didn't take the marvel logo and turn it black and white like yeah the first one. yeah they should have waited me off. color yeah that pissed me off the color to do it yeah mm. i digress i digress anyway uh next one quibbles uh kit a team van ecto one. Oof. Ooh. Man. Who are you sticking yeah. in the tailpipe? Kit. Who's so getting kit, the banana in the tailpipe? Van. Who's uh, getting the, the cans van connected just, to the bumper? Uh, the A team van is just so like. Oh my god. It's so whatever. It's are like you there's nothing. Away the A team van. I know. <sighs> and I, I was watching. Uh, I rewatched the the A team movie the other day. Great and, movie. Uh, they don't right. have a van in that, but that movie's awesome. My it movie's underrated. For like half a second. That movie's great, really right? fucking. I don't know why people don't like that movie. Dude, this is, this is the van. What are you talking about? The van's in the movie. We've it's had a, this conversation so many times. I like they're times. in helicopters way more than the van. Yeah. The van's in the, the movie. It's Rampage's van. He's in it. He's driving. It's Rampage's for like, van. For like a second, though. He's in it, though. He's in it. I know, but they, but they wreck it. It's like he, they wreck it like in the first like 10 minutes of the movie, and then it's not even there there anymore. We're never having a Rampage. Yeah, they needed more van. Yeah, they did a more. I love the eighteen van. van. I loved the eighteen van. Well, I had the Hot Wheels. Because when yeah, what else Kit, was the other choice? Uh, Kit, Kit from Knight Rider and Ecto One from Ghostbusters. 
Okay, but I would kill the A team, A T van. What is wrong with both of you? Because All right, right. they never were able to kill anybody. Yeah, that's true. They they could shoot all so let's them, kill the van. assault rifles at a barn and not hit it. Well, the Ghostbusters are already dealing with dead people, so they're not killing anybody. Yeah, you want to fuck a dead person? They did fuck a dead person. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, blow job. Ray, 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 Ray got Ray. That's true. Ghost, he got ghost raped. Bill Clinton, <laughs> it still counts. <laughs> So I fuck the Ecto One. <laughs> That's a perfect choice. Perfect choice. Because <laughs> you know those ghosts are given out. Oh, you know their stories. Oh that, come on, they're giving out BJ's. The they're giving out BJ's, BJ's like that. Oh yeah. Dan Aykroyd. Dan, Dan Aykroyd could get a. Yeah, all, yeah, yeah everybody's if, getting yeah, some. If Dan Aykroyd's getting his dick sucked, everybody everybody's. can get their dick sucked. <laughs> and Kit, everybody gets I'll tell you what. I'd marry Kit. I'd marry Kit. Who does that? Michael. Michael, very, it'd be very happy. Take out the garbage, Michael. It's a talking car <laughs> that can do whatever you tell it to do. Yeah, that's true. And it's got like rockets. You're very happy yeah. to do whatever. Turbo boosters, baby. Turbo boosters. It can go underwater. Uh, it's got a cool theme song. Does it come with a narrator? Michael Knight. <laughs> no, no, you have to do your own. Narrator. A man who works for an organization that doesn't exist. <laughs> so how does he work for? It? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> I don't he, he makes know. he makes his own hours. <laughs> Is he clock in? He's an independent contractor. Michael. <laughs> You're late, Michael. So what, kid? What are you does talking about? Do I don't have a job, kid. Does he not do his no, taxes? No, he doesn't have a 1099. No, no, no. So he's, sk yeah. he's, he's, he's skipping his taxes, huh? He's, he's yeah, a tax he's, fraud. He's, he's, he's tax, tax evading, fraud. but I, you could evade anything. It's easy to tax evade when you have a face, you had a, you had a face transplant or whatever the fuck. Yeah, a face. A facial. Oh, is, that one, is, uh, that the, is that the whole story? It was like he changed his face. face. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like a, Remo Williams, what's it called? Reconstruction then? surgery. Uh, kind of like in Sin yeah, City yeah, with uh, Clive Owen with white. He's Clive Owen. Yeah, he's got He's got a new face. He's got a new face. So you're, uh, like, you're here you go, loving, you're, you're marrying Kit. Fucking. He said fucking he's marrying ghost. Kit. He's killing the fucking 18 because he's a murdering son of a bitch. <sighs> the 18 man Ecto is just one. so. Jesus you know, Christ. Yeah, it's just a black guys and red band. Guys are fucking lame, man. Come on. <laughs> too man, many, too man. many guys in that band. That band's a rock and don't come and knock it, baby. Way too many guys in that band. Sausage <laughs> van. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sausage van. <laughs> right, Matt, what's Matt's choice? What's Matt's choice? Matt said the same thing you did. Are we on the same page this entire time? Yeah, you've been on the same page for all these times. I, I, you know, I, I would right, actually want to. I would actually want to kill Kit because I want to see if I can blow that car up. You can't. You but can't. How do you blow know? I would like to blow. No, but this is my. I want to kill it. Kill Kit. I want Kit to die. Kill Kit. Michael, what are you doing with the dynamite, Michael? I, I, <laughs> Michael. I, I, probably. Uh, I like to I marry marry the eighteen man just because there's a lot of room. It's very roomy. You can you can make a family in there. You, you can, can make start a you family. Can, you can in make the that you can make that house a home in the 18th, man. <laughs> what a dummy! And I'm, I'm, and I'm fucking with a red stripe on the side. I'm saying I'm gonna fuck uh, Ecto. So I guess this one that Justin and I have. We're both gonna fuck an Ecto one. Oh yeah, not, well, not, not, not at the same there's no, time. There's no, there's no question going on there. <laughs> yeah, no I wanna, why not I at the same time? I don't know. Cause you yeah, got a problem with me? <laughs> I'm gonna go inside the coffin. <laughs> huh? There'll be a coffin in there, right? A casket. Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go to guess. All right, here's the next one. Uh, Mjolnir, Green Lantern Ring, Captain America Shield. Fuck. I'm, I'm this I up. thought would be easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck the hammer. I'm fucking the hammer. Because <laughs> my dick looks like down? a hammer. I'm gonna put the hammer down. <laughs> you gonna put the hammer down on the bed? You, yeah, you can set that. You can set that up. I'm gonna throw it down. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm gonna marry the Lantern Ring. You're gonna put her in a cock oh, ring. Oh, because you can create a wife with it. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck the ring. Because you know what's good about the ring? You have it's it on your dick. You can turn it to anything. It's quite the cock your, ring. Then your dick can turn into anything with the Green Lantern ring. Oh boy, dude. I'll I just, just turn the Green idea. Lantern ring into my dick. <laughs> and I'll fuck the shield. That's not how it works. Because then I can say I have finally the penetrated the shield. <laughs> <laughs> the indestructible shield's been penetrated by me. It's your, it's your, oh, it's your vibranium. Vibratoranium. Oh, yeah, I'll fuck the shield and then I'll kill the hammer. Kill, kill the hammer? How are you going to kill, kill the hammer? The hammer huh? Exactly my point. What's the well, most destructible hella, out of all the things? Like, what can you destroy? Well, no, what's your you name? You can't destroy, destroy the, hammer? the uh, ring, probably. Is the Kate, most Kate easy Blanchett thing. destroyed the hammer. Yeah, but it was, she was the god of death. I don't think no. she's like a guy walking down the street. That's what, call, <laughs> that's what they call my dick, the god of death. <laughs> the god of death. 
So you did watch Capone? Yeah. <laughs> I just shit myself at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> watch Capone, kids. It's bad. Do uh, know, none of these objects have a vagina, so you won't get HPV. No. Well, the, the ring, the, the kind ring of is does. the closest. It's a hole. The ring is it's the, the closest. Hole. <laughs> Well, no, 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 the hammer has like the little strappy thing. The little strappy thing. It's got the little it, leather it, strap. Hey, and Thor Ragnarok, uh, Korg is like, the hammer pulled you off? <laughs> Remember he says that? Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> see, even Kirk knows. Even you Kirk knows Korg what knows going on. <laughs> yeah, he pulls it off. Oh my God, the hammer pulled you off? <laughs> Talk about a movie that has a lot of sexual windows. Oh, yes. yes. I, mean, I can't I mean, wait they for were, Thor. They were driving around the fucking orgy, the orgy mobile. Fucking... Uh, you thought Taika Waititi was going to let loose the first time. Holy shit, he's going to go crazy with this one. Yeah, <laughs> Love and Thunder is like, it's, it's called Come and Thunder. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. Uh, next gore, one. Gore this, is, this is for the asshole fucker. who uh, got pissed off that I compared WandaVision. Ooh, God Ethan, forbid to Ethan fucking Hawk? David Lynch. This is for you, Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. This is for Ethan Hawke. Uh, yeah. Dune, Twin Peaks, Blue Velvet. Killing, killing Dune. Really? Yeah, I'll kill Blue Velvet. I want to fuck Blue Velvet. Ooh, you don't like you against Blue Velvet. This is the second yeah. time you shit on Blue Velvet. Yeah. <laughs> Should I open it, Justin? No, I want you to fuck it. I'll fuck Twin Peaks <laughs> and I'll marry Dune. <laughs> I'm marrying Twin Dune. Peaks. <laughs> I'll marry Twin Peaks. I want to go into that red room. <laughs> I'm going to find room. her killer. What is her yeah, name? I'm going to find Laura Palmer. <laughs> Laura, gotta find, Laurie, gotta find what's Laura. her name? Laurie Strode? Laura Palmer. Who killed Laura Palmer? Laura Palmer, sorry. Where did Laurie Strode come from? Laura Palmer. Laura. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to marry Twin Peaks and kill Dune. I think Justin and I are like all the like, you, like the, you like the little the little person uh, walking backwards? and all that that Talking person? and walking backwards? Yeah, it's weird. I like it. I'm into that. I would let you back. Damn good coffee. It hot. <laughs> He drinks hot coffee and so then he's Justin, like, that's fucking hot. Dune. What about Dune do you want to marry? This I don't know. Just... Something about Dune. He wants to marry the same When I watched arms. it, I've always... <laughs> Something about it. I find it actually entertaining. <clears throat> Is it Sting? Is it Sting? Sting really does get to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot yeah, of sexy... There is a lot of sexiness in Dune, you know. There's some sexiness. It's all right. What's the name of the girl? I'm trying to think of the name of the girl that's in the movie. Oh, Sean Young. Sean Young. That's why. Yeah. Sean. That's what it is. That's what it is. I, I got it. Yeah, that's some crazy it. pussy right there. Oh, yeah. She dressed up like Catwoman. <laughs> she wanted to be Catwoman. So she bad. wanted to be Catwoman. Right, she last dressed one. up like Catwoman. Nolan's Bane voice. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan's Joker voice. Yeah. Nolan's Batman voice. <sighs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Like talking. Oh God! I, I want I want to marry the Bane voice because I, I just want to live with that my whole life. You want to live with that your I whole life? I just my whole life. My whole life. All right, you. can I ask you a question? I will marry you. Yes, go yes. Ahead. yes. Uh, Batman's voice in Wish movie. First one. I'm You're never gonna. Go. Gonna uh, swear to me. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go Batman. Okay, yeah. Do you want swear to me or you want to go to hockey pads? No, I don't like hockey pads. I like swear to me. Because like yeah, to me, see, there, yeah. well, to me it got it got yeah. thicker and worse yeah. as it went along. Well, the, yeah, the last I, don't, scene I, I in mean, Dark I, the only time he was kind of really cool was when he was talking with the Joker, and he was whispering. He goes, "We just slime that kills for money." Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that was, like, how Batman was kind of Batman. Yeah, should be. Not like, not yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> deep. Not. Where's the Joker? He was doing that shit. You want to give it to another? Well, who do you think does the Why best? Ba- who do you think does the best Batman voice? Like, oh, it's got to be Conroy or Well, Conroy, I mean, what he does Conroy. is he goes to a dark place in his yeah. head when he, yes, when he, he does. When he does his it, acting, but he never gets gravelly though. Too, he just gets head. low. He just gets lower. It's like no, he yeah. always no, he talks gets, very authoritarian. Gets, and like you know, hey, puke bag, you know, something like that. You know, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna tell like, you this blah, blah, one time. Conway is always very. I would kill Bale's voice. Mm. I would Who? marry Joker's voice? voice and fuck Bane's voice. You're fucking Bane. Joker's voice. voice. Little, little little trivia, guys. People don't know what uh, Heath Ledger uh, 
based it on Tom Waits. Look, Google yes. old Tom Waits boy, yeah. uh, interviews. Sounds just like Love the Joker. Tom Waits back in the day. So you're you're you're, you're marrying Tom Waits. He's still alive, I think. Tom Waits is still alive. Yeah. Is he? Is he alive? Yeah, yeah. Get, get, Tom, get Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Alive. Alive. He's still he's still kicking. It. He's still putting. Out he was just in that uh, Buster Scruggs movie a little bit. He was. He was like, you damn dirty skunk. <laughs> you skunk. You damn you dirty, dirty skunk. You <laughs> shot me in the back. You skunk. <laughs> That was a good that, that, that one in the first one are the only stories I really like. I like that whole movie. I, some, some of I them like were that. I was kind of like like the the, the J- James Franco. It's only for one line. Pan shot. First time. That's the only part of the scene. That was a, no, that does, I got I got to rewatch that movie because I, I like to, I like to tell the stories for varying varying reasons. So. Very weird, Cohen. So you're, you're so you're I'm marrying not, Bane. Marrying Bane. Just, Matt's marrying Bane. Yeah, Justin's he's banging marrying, Bane. He's banging Bane. I'm marrying Bane. Nobody's nobody's such nobody's touching uh, Christian Bale's back. No, nobody. I'm killing that voice. That voice is dead. <laughs> <Every, laughs> <every, every, every, laughs> fucking I'm Batman. It's just so dumb. It's like even Keaton's voice and Keaton. Well, Keaton didn't talk a Keaton's lot either. Awesome. Keaton's Keaton's just whisper. Keaton, just Keaton just talked very little. He talked more as fucking real than more than hundred me. It's very just talking. The only it's thing like, that's the best thing of in his voice, like shut up, you're going to jail. Shut up, you're going to jail. <laughs> he's that's, he's that's, like whisper talking. That's, that's, that's the great. best it's fucking very, Batman line I think Batman's ever had. Shut up, you're going to jail. Shut up, you're that's, going that's to jail. That's a good line, but I don't know. Batman's that's a good line, man. That's a good line. I don't, okay, I'm Batman. You can't say I'm Batman because like if I'm Batman. Is I'm I Batman. like I like Conroy's. I like Conroy's. If you guys think me having protocols. To stop the Justice League. No. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm, yeah, damn I'm, fools. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even including. Yeah, I love Conroy. that shit. Because <laughs> Conroy had so much to work with. He was like he Batman. had so he much good Batman, like Conroy's just dropping shit. <laughs> yeah, he right. had shut up. You're going to jail. What's the best? Up, what's the best Bruce Wayne line? Best Bruce Wayne line? This will tell us deadly if you eat it. <laughs> Even deadlier if you beat it. If, yeah, I hate God, that line's dumb. That movie, <laughs> Wait, that movie, like that, that movie uh, has. You want to break some eggs? Been... Oh, oh, let's yeah. get nuts. You want to get nuts? nuts. You want to get nuts? Bruce Wayne line. Let's that get might nuts. be the best Bruce Wayne line. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> he, went, he went Beetlejuice there a little bit. <laughs> he, he, he went, yeah. <laughs> nice Make an omelet mouth. without breaking something. Thank I like the part in. Is it Batman Forever? We're, no, 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 Batman returns. When he's talking shit to Alfred, and he's like, I turn around and fucking Vicky Vale standing right there. Well, yeah, he's like, you know, who let Vicky Vale in the back cave? He's like, yeah, turn around. Uh, he's right there. Uh, <laughs> That's Batman Returns. Yeah, Batman That's Returns. Batman Returns. Had, they, they, okay, there, was a, there was a lot of great, a lot of bad. Like, do you like the record scratch in Batman Returns? No, I don't know. Like <laughs> On a CD? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Actually. No, <laughs> That's been mythbusted. That's been mythbusted. <laughs> yeah, I actually I busted that. I tried it. Busted it's Batman not a record. Return. It's a fucking optical lens. I bought. I don't think you need the MythBusters there, Matthew. Yeah, I think anybody can say, "Hey, wait a minute." MythBusters. What's that? I actually bought a CD player back in the day and, and tried to do that. Tried off. to do that and didn't work. And then I put a pin to, to make it look like the lid was down, so it spun. Uh, yeah. And I try. I touched it with my finger, it and it, it just stopped. <laughs> Well, this is also like the Batman like licensed CD player. It was one it was of Wayne brothers. Tech. Wayne, Wayne Tech, Tech is different than like, it's Sony. Wayne Tech. It's not. It's, it's yeah. not. It's not real CDs. Yeah, Wayne Tech is every technology. Made by Tiger Electronics. electronics. Made by, <laughs> Sir, the, the your video Wayne games Tech ever made. CD player has arrived, Mister like, Mr. Master Wayne. Uh, <laughs> Master Wayne. Master Wayne. See, I always like. It's cold. When he, <laughs> you, see, just to fix the most fa- I remember it, exactly what he's talking it's, about. It's like, <laughs> I remember exactly what he's talking about. And Alfred's is like, fuck off, man. It's supposed to be cold. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, the soup scene was like. I, mean, I remember like, exactly it's a, it's the line disc. he's talking about. And I knew it's, it's the most cringy line. He gives him like the shitty soup. But it's so good. It's cold. It's like, it's cold. supposed to be cold, Master Wine. It's a leak. Cold, it's like, what was it? It was a cock leaky soup or something. It was, like uh, they, they made a reference to it on Your Honor. Uh, I forget the name of it. I, Do they the really? Deal. Because Michael Stuhlberg sure. has the same. Uh, soup and he's like it's cold it's, cold. <laughs> it's just the same shit it's supposed to be cold it's the way it's i would fire i would fire my butler if he'd be cold soup it's, even if it's supposed, it's to, be supposed to be cold cold no, that's why the serve fuck it. are you giving me soup that's cold like i don't want cold soup <laughs> well because it's the winter time. <laughs> I eat it. well you're not supposed to eat cold soup during the winter 
That's Listen, right. Like, are you are you <laughs> eating fucking, ice cream? Yo, get off Alfred's winter? back, you bastard! You fucking asshole! <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Alfred! <laughs> we'd send you back to fucking. fucking Matthew would be the most temperamental Bruce Dallas. Wayne of all time. You yeah, think Bruce Wayne was like, like Alfred? What the fuck? Yeah, when, asshole. When, when Alfred got sick and Batman and Robin, do you think he's like, this it's is like, because of the soup? This is because of the soup. <laughs> this is old. Hey, you son, you old soup, bastard! Old man. This is because you gave me cold fucking soup. Remember that time? Remember that time, Buster old Wade? man? That was like 30 years ago. <laughs> Buster Wade, I, I only save wanted me. you to I hold grudges. Vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, I don't don't think oh, a second has gone that by that I forgot about this cold ass soup you gave me. <laughs> you want to give that soup to an ordinary? You want to give that soup to an Where is the hot soup? Where is the hot soup? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't give it to an ordinary <laughs> soup. This has been Kill, Fuck, Mary. The good, the bad, and the ugly wrists in listening to these three morons. All right, Matthew, give everybody our information. It's a new year. It's a new site. It's the same old us on Simplistic Reviews. Uh, Simplistic.reviews is the website. Check everything out on that site. And I just got a notice. This, this just came across my desk. <laughs> big news. So... Not only can you find all of our stuff all over the internet, now you can find it on Pandora as well. We've been accepted into, into the Pandora. They've opened have Pandora's box. Well, yeah. <laughs> I have such delights to show you. Yeah. It's like <laughs> that took a long good. time. I did take a long time. We're going to tear your soul you, apart. You probably <laughs> forgot that we were even... I submitted to that be on last year, <laughs> ninety-five years ago. They're just, getting, the beginning they're beginning just getting around to it, but yeah, we're officially on Pandora as well. The devil was busy, okay. Yeah, how's that? How that's going to like affect anything in life? It's not, but uh, in case you you kids are still listening to Pandora, yeah, we are. Listen to Pandora I, I got a Pandora account. I don't yeah, ever use Pandora. Pandora. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but just go to the web. Go to Simplistic uh, dot reviews. You find all the fun stuff, and it's all there. We, some, we got some more fun stuff coming up. Oh, the, uh, we do. And, and then in the next uh, next uh, couple things months, are uh, things are a bubbling. Things are boiling. They're bubbling. They're bubbling and boiling. The same old Simplistic reviews will still be there. What's yep, that line the Joker says when he he's gonna he's in the chemical factory and he goes we're getting a brand new line? What, what was that line? Dude. Ship them all. <laughs> That's that. it. You didn't say that. <laughs> Shabba ma! Shabba ma! And they got this nerdy scientist about him. Like, I don't know if we should. Uh, who is that guy? <laughs> who's is he in charge? Who's he? Is, is he an okay. HR? Is he the HR manager? He's a purple ball. guy running around in the fucking purple factory. Guy the ma. <laughs> oh, no, dog! You know who know never looked like fucked up in that movie? Like Kim Basinger. She must have been getting her beauty products from somebody else. That's true. Or she's a natural beauty. Sure. Well, <laughs> Kim Basin. Womp womp. That's a natural. That she is natural. Beauty. Yeah. What was yeah. what was that town that she bought? She bought a town at one point. It was like in Alabama or something like that. Did she? She and then did. It bankrupt. Yeah, you remember that because Alec Baldwin that story is that? Oh, yeah. Because that's when they were fucking during the Getaway movie. Yeah. 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 Well, was she was a Bond girl off. forever. No, she's not. She was. Uh, no, for, no, she's not. <laughs> she's not in any official Bond movie. For Kim Basinger, mm-hmm. official mm-hmm. Bond girl, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. Sean Connery, who made a Bond movie called Never Say Never Again. Uh, <laughs> and for the and for the late never, Tanya Roberts. Never say never again. Oh, and never the late Tanya Roberts. The officially never late. Again. The officially late never, Tanya Roberts. Never, 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 never. <laughs> I am uh, Zorn saying, uh, what does Zorn say in, the, in, in Beauty and Kill? Uh, I don't even know. I fuck, know. Girl, fuck my, my <laughs> woman, Grace Jones, over here. Hey, you're James Bond. You're J- Bond. 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 Bond? Why are you dressed up as Batman? Why are you fucking Why are you Batman? Batman? <laughs> Why are you fucking Batman? Because he is Batman, you Batman, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Batman. 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 Yo, James, why do you dress like 007? Shut up, you're going to jail. <laughs> what? James Bond would never say that. <laughs> James Bond kills. He Shut up, you're going to jail. He doesn't arrest <laughs> fucking anybody. I've got a license to throw you in jail. I've got a license to murder you. <laughs> That's it. Literally written on my car here. All right, Tim Dalton. He doesn't even have a... He, James Bond doesn't know what handcuffs are. He doesn't know what, yeah, does. what am I supposed he, to do with it. How many girls he's fucked? He's got plenty of handcuffs. Oh, that's true. That's true. Just he's, another he's just, he's just using them. Yeah, just... <laughs> I always remember that line. Oh, that was a good line. 
he was probably waiting for the one moment somebody had a screw torture device on him. Yeah. Uh, or a girl he fucked, just so he can say, I'm gonna hold this just time. another screw. <laughs> I've had that. I've had that line since Remington Steel. Remington Steel. <laughs> I thought, of, I thought of that game. line and Mrs. Doubtfire. Take a moment to realize that you have sat through an episode of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. You could have literally done anything else. Read a book. Play with your kids. Take up a spin class. Call your mother finally. You told her you'd call this week, but instead. You spent over an hour listening to a show where three wackos bitch about movies. No wonder she told your Aunt Lisa she was disappointed in you. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. If you're wondering how I know so much about you and your family, no need to fear. I just stack your phone and your bank account. There, there, there are many, many, many methods of seeking re re revenge, venge, venge. Drownings. Beatings. Burnings. Cuts, cuts, cuts. Snyder, Snyder, Snyder cuts. Ha 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 See you soon.